So yeah, after that girl did that, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure if they heard us at that point. I'm not sure. I'm trying to see if it's live, but I think yeah, I think it's live. Yeah. Almost. It's saying receiving it's almost content. Live. Yeah, it's saying. It's not, it, yeah, it, we're there. We there. Are we live? Yeah, we live, baby. What's good? What's up, everyone? OJ here. Welcome back to another PE podcast number sixty nine. Thank you guys for jo- so much for joining me today, if I can speak correctly. I want to appreciate all of you guys coming through. Thanks for coming out. We got a big show for you guys today. We got some cool peeps. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and uh, introduce the cast. We're going to start up right above me. Um, is VC is here. V Sips, what's up, man? Oh, what's up? What's up? Uh, I've just been chilling, hanging out. Oh, now my phone's going through the chat. Oh, wow. Okay. Hold on. Sorry about that. <laughs> I have it going on my phone, and I have it going on the screen, too, but... I've been good. Uh, I've been uh, busy with Astral Chain. Uh, I had a super Kirby Clash review, and I dropped a song last week on YouTube. Got over a thousand uh, streams, which is nice. But uh, aside from that, I've been pretty good. Uh, just really busy uh, with Astral Chain. Just 35 hours in almost. Like, it's too much fun. It's definitely top five Game of the Year nominee for me. Cool, cool. Hands down. Next up is my boy Avadon. Avadon, how you doing tonight, my man? What's good, man? Chilling. Got off work. So with you guys for a little bit, then we'll work some more. All right, all right. Sounds good. How's the fam and everybody? Fam is good. Kids asleep. Wife watching her TV shows. So perfect time to chill with you guys. Okay. Sounds good. Sounds good. Shout out. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't do reality TV. <laughs> Shout out. That's to my almost man. all TV now. Shout out Did to that? my man Christian too with the ten. Uh, Christian, the only thing is that Christian, uh, we don't play music on the the podcast because we have a bunch of people. Uh, but I can definitely get your song once we do uh, OJ Live tomorrow. So, but we don't play music. Um, we don't play music after the, uh, or sorry, during the podcast. But thank you, Christian. I appreciate the 10, my man. And like I said, don't worry. I'll, I'll get you uh, for tomorrow's stream uh, for, for your favorite song. Um, and uh, below him, we've got, or right next to me, we've got uh, my man, Baron. How you doing today? How I'm doing? Yeah, man. How you doing? Let me turn on this camera. <laughs> that, 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 that look. We'll do that again. <laughs> I'm, doing, I'm doing. I'm doing good, boy. I was a little bit hot earlier today, but oh, after these NPD results came out, I I, I got in a good mood. I got in a good mood. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I about that, just OJ go. I had to, I had to turn on my air real quick because I was like, I forgot to turn on my air. And so he's going OJ, 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 deliver some the, UPS uh, packages. OJ, check the uh, Twitter chat. Okay, you got that information for me? All right, cool, cool. Um, oh, no, uh, no, Jordan sent you a message in the trip chat. Oh, in the Twitter? Ah, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, so Jordan wants to, he wants to hop in for a bit? Right, well, that's yeah. good. That's nice. Yeah, we can add him. If he wants to hop in, I don't. I'm, he's busy though. He should just do what he needs to do. It's all good though. He wants to hop in. Yeah, yeah. Y'all can't hear me crunching, can? You? Yeah, we actually can. Mute your mic. I mean, <laughs> you can mute your mic. And we won't be able to hear you. Yo, Jordan. <laughs> Jordan, what's up, Jordan? Man, hey, you don't have to come on tonight, man. I know you're busy with Borderlands and everything. Hey, what's oh, good? Oh, Jordan. <laughs> what's up, Jordan? Hey, but no, you, you don't have to feel pressure to come on, man. I know you're going to be busy with no, Borderlands I got, and everything. I got like, I got like two minutes. I'm waiting for food. Okay. Well, feel free to uh, Look, stop by. You, you got, can... Hold on. Where, I, I've got a light. Um, like, he can't see it. I got the collective edition Borderlands in the back. Oh, nice. Nice. Oh, nice. Uh, nice. You, can, you can bounce whenever, man. Uh, but thank you for joining us, at least for a little bit. Uh, all right, yeah, so how did you get it already? Audio needs to be. Can you turn up your audio a little bit? Is there any way you can raise your your, your mic volume? Is this good? You can't hear me at this volume. We can, but it's a little low. But it's all good. I think. I'm oh, on my oh. phone. I don't know how I raise my volume. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, headphones. I mean, I mean, the Discord I'm mobile ain't very friendly. Yeah, Discord Mobile's not it's not great. Unless you have some head if you have some headphones, then it'll work better. But it's all good. Yeah. Uh we can still continue on here. So uh thank you once again, Christian. Thank you for the 10, man. Appreciate that. But let's go ahead and get into some of these topics here. Uh we're going to start off with Baron's favorite game of the show. Oh, uh, probably God. everybody here's favorite game of the show, and that is Death Stranding. Um there was a all right, big see you later. <laughs> <laughs> There was a big, uh, what was it, about an hour long of gameplay. A lot, I mean, there was some talk at the beginning and talk at the end from Kojima and uh, this uh, other lady that was playing. 
Um, but Death Stranding, um, they showed gameplay, a full gameplay demo, and it has basically turned a lot of people off to the game. I'll be honest, it was not impressive. Um, and Baron has a lot to say about that, so we'll probably go with him last. Um, but my initial impressions of Death Stranding is that this is a game that, um, that Kojima made in order to be closer to Hollywood. This is a, uh, Detroit, a little, this is like him trying to get Metal Gear Solid fans in some way, shape, or form, but also trying to be David Cage, but also trying to one-up David Cage and be better than David Cage. You know what I'm saying? Like, with, with, with the Hollywood actors, because David Cage doesn't get Norman Reedus. You know what I'm saying? Like, so, it feels to me like he's trying to be, like, a mismatch of all these. Um, just real quick before I let you guys go, the combat, it looks just lame it doesn't look fun it doesn't look innovative the 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 environments they're they're beautiful but it's just empty you, i mean people thought breath of the wild was empty oh my gosh the environments in this game are just completely empty and the gameplay is just you running around like delivering packages and you look freaking stupid your guy has this big old dumb looking backpack on you don't look cool you don't look it doesn't look interesting really at all the only thing that kind of looks interesting is like the weirdness of the story that's that's the reason for me to play this game would be the story in some way but that's that's my thoughts of the game just by watching that full gameplay demo it looks like it's not very good but you know what the story could be could be it's saving grace to be honest uh, and the graphics so um i'm gonna start with maybe uh who wants to go next on who wants to tackle this one i'll let you guys go in order vc uh sure uh, i guess i'll go uh i saw about like 30 minutes of the whole 50 minute uh presentation uh i had to stop i just couldn't watch it anymore it was dragging on in a way where i felt like this wasn't really gameplay it, that he really made it as a movie kojima like there's that mode added in where it's literally just a movie maybe press a button here or there and that's it and it's like overall he made it as a walking simulator more so than an actual game with mechanics action stuff that can keep people invested into the game besides the story because of course a game is great with story but if a game is just story then it's a movie no gameplay yeah so, i mean they showed I, that boss battle you know, yeah, which it, it, he, he was just running around throwing grenades. <laughs> yeah, like, run around like, whoop, whoop. <laughs> like, no, okay. No. And I was initially when I saw the very first trailer, Death Stranding, interested. I was like, oh, this looks like a cool concept for a game. Kojima making a game. Nice. And all these different trailers and gameplays we've seen. And I just become less and less interested. So overall, I don't think I need to see more. I think I'm just not getting get the game now. And I was originally going to get the game, honestly. I was very interested, but I may just try and import Persona 5 Royal instead. You can just wait for it. my money. You can yeah, I'd rather import it, honestly. I, I, I'm that invested in that game. I can't wait for that. It's gonna not going to be in English. I know. <laughs> that's how bad he, he doesn't want this game. Literally, you're like, not, that's you're, how you're... much of a comparison. Like, I'd rather import it and play it 100%. Okay. And not well, wait. I don't know. Jordan, do you have any thoughts on Death Stranding? Were you able to see the game, the new gameplay from TGS? Yeah, what I did was I uh, I, I went like, wow, play. And then I, I clicked further on, and then I clicked further on, and then I clicked further on, and I just went to different parts, because I'm not going to watch an hour's worth of play every time I'll play in months, right? Um, I still have no idea what the heck's going on, so that's a, that's a positive, uh, I guess. Um, there's... Uh, graphic they look good not bad um uh as, as far as a, uh i don't know if that's call it but sure is something <laughs> all right so that's my hot takes on this do you think is that is this going to be a game that you pick up because it's coming out in a couple months well, i have I have the uh the version of it on the, the baby edition no the one under oh okay. i don't need that little my house i'm good okay cool no problem all right so um avadon what's your thoughts man i have no interest of playing a walking simulator mr postman no mr postman wait a minute mr postman. <laughs> <laughs> thank you you got it thank you i was hoping someone would do it oh okay that's it's perfect but nah i'm not interested like the game as jordan said is graphics it's pretty there are those they do have that <laughs> But you have graphics. I, I'll give you. I'll give you that. But I, I don't know the graphics. While the graphics are good, it seems 
far less impressive for some reason maybe because of how empty the game is and like how dense final fantasy remake is the graphics i was just about to mention that i was just about to seem a lot better although the game's not open world but i think this is a pure this is an example of why you don't always need to have open world for a game right like it's so i feel like with all the games that are coming out this is going to get lost in the mix like gears 5 beautiful graphics borderlands beautiful graphics um you Thanks. have a Borderlands ain't getting lost nowhere. No, not Borderlands. I'm talking about Death Strand's getting lost in the mix. <laughs> oh, 100 percent Yeah, yeah. that's <laughs> Death Strand. Death Strand is gonna get a fight over that Borderlands. <laughs> uh, no, Bro, Death Strand. Like, Yo, that, but like... <laughs> Death Strand is gonna get lost in the midst of all these games because there's just better options. I mean, I'm willing to say, as bad as Marvelous is, if I feel like if if the, if enough time goes by. Damon X Machina may have a bit better chance than Death Stranding right now. That's how bad all it right, is. All right, relax. <laughs> I don't know about that. You, listen, you're listen. Really listen. stretching the margin here. Just... Listen, 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 listen. At least you can have fun and play some and have some gameplay in Damon X Machina. <laughs> There's I gameplay. Mean, if you want to call it that. <laughs> yeah. No. You know, you you gonna sit there. Ring I, fit I, looks I better. Y'all gonna sit there and tell me walking simulator, walking around and peeing on mushrooms is better than fighting with Rex? I really? At least it would feel like I'm on shrooms if I'm peeing on them. I'm more curious about what happened one than the other. I'll say that. I mean, gameplay wise, obviously, Damon X Machina is a better game. Game exactly. <laughs> Ring fit exactly. Over it. Damon X Machina, an hands down. Yeah. If you want an actual game, yeah, like a, a, a game, like an actual sure. game. Now, if you're talking, that's about my it, point. Yeah, yeah. If, if you want that, a beautiful novel, movie, act, director, I don't know. I mean, I, I could, I could, I could watch yeah. that on, on Netflix. I don't need to buy a game for that. But you could buy it <laughs> and watch it and pretend like it. Well, I go and I can do that for free without no, buying it. <laughs> I can do that without buying it. I, I value my sixty cool. bucks. Dude, it's Norman Reedus and his penis, man. It's worth it. Norman Reedus. Nah, I'm good. Baron, yeah. Mike's on you. Well, we'll see. Baron, your thoughts? We're ready. Come on. Oh, it's Play on it me now? Oh, man. Let me, let me put down my pistachios. Yeah, you got famous <laughs> on, on Twitter, I saw. <laughs> okay. For everybody that doesn't know, I tweeted out my live stream for talking about Death Stranding. One of the actors in Death Stranding responded to my tweet. That was hilarious. <laughs> and I, I basically, I triggered one of the actors in Death Stranding, so he uh, he I'm was a little bit go, salty. I'm about to go look at oh. it right now. <laughs> so, what, um, what did that actor say back? He said he just said it's funny. You know, he, st- he just put a lot of laugh emojis on my. So I was like, what the hell, dude? Is he so really I, clicked, I, I clicked on his profile. He's one of the actors in Death Stranding. So. Yeah. I was like, man. So they actually, uh, you know, they looking at people's reactions to the game. So you using, they're using hashtags. That, that, that's the new. Go ahead. I'll, I'll let you finish. Yeah. So basically, Death Stranding is uh, it's the equivalent of that black gooey stuff that you see whenever you go to take the trash out of your house at the bottom of the dumpster. That's <laughs> Death Stranding. It's that black gooey stuff at the bottom of the dumpster. Just straight <laughs> trash. Complete scum. straight trash, <laughs> just straight trash, and, and it stinks. And the fact of the matter is, I've never seen. And I'm I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a big up one of y'all games, right? Now, so y'all better record this because it's probably the only time I say this. Pokemon Pokemon Sword and Shield open world look way better than Death Strandings. <laughs> <laughs> Death Strandings <laughs> open world is the you know, most bland, bland, uninspiring, empty. Boring looking open world I've ever seen in my life. I personally you think both I mean? look boring, but that's me. Continue. But I, at least, at least it, there's poke at least there's Pokemon walking. And at around. least there's a couple <laughs> of Pokemon running around. I, I, that's the only I mean, good thing. In Death Stranding, you don't see any wildlife, you don't see a worm, you don't see a bird, you don't see nothing. It's literally until, you. until the shadows just take you and you then see it. It's everything. literally you with 18 Amazon boxes on your back running through the same grass field. For like forty minutes to an hour, and they I got know the little, y'all know uh, this. Longboard thing, the little uh, uh, crate looking thing. You can go. Don't get me started on that. Your chest is... 
Oh, you yeah. know it's a damn the problem. When the best feet, they started off by showing you a feature where you can stack more boxes on your on back. Your <laughs> like, are you serious? Bro, That's what you're trying to that, sell me on. Like, nah. Stacking more boxes on your damn back. Like, you got to be kidding me. And and they, and they went through that segment like it was so exciting. I'm like, they literally trolling me right now. You are literally a UPS delivery man. This is UPS Open World Simulator. Mr. Postman. That's exactly what this game is. It, it was. It was. It was totally ridiculous. I mean, ridiculous. When he actually, when he actually showed some game, if you want to call it gameplay, it was the most clunkiest, uninspired, rigid animations I've ever seen in my life. I still don't understand what these dudes in hazmat suits are damn doing with these tasers on a disco stick. I don't know what the hell they're doing. You said what? I'm trying to steal your baby. Trying to steal. Trying to steal your baby. <laughs> I mean, we we got a damn problem. If one of the core mechanics in the game is actually sitting down and sleeping, we are sleeping in a damn game. Hey man, yeah, come on, are we serious right now? Don't forget standing or sitting when you go to the bathroom. Yeah, man. We sleeping in a game. We traversing eight hours across the same green field we seen to deliver packages. Yeah. Somebody's and then it's like somebody's got to do it. It's like Jeff, me, Jeff Keely, yeah. Um, and then Jeff Keely pops up, you know, <laughs> does his typical uh, on his knees for Kojima. It's like, look, wait a minute, I'm tired of this. <laughs> <laughs> you said, what? More like arch over. <laughs> Wait a minute. What are, you, what, are trying to, what are you trying to say there? No, I'm joking. Uh, I'm trying to say that this man got a damn problem. Everybody that's a fan of this game has a damn problem. And I had, and, and I got to say this because it's about to get real. People aren't allowed to like games, Baron. I'm, 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 I'm gonna say this. Let them know, Baron. I'm gonna say this real right quick. now. Real quick. Baron, if real I quick. catch your ass comparing Death Stranded to Breath of the Wild, do it. I'm coming Let for you. Let him know. I'm coming for Come it. Let him know. Because that is Let the biggest know. insult I have ever seen in gaming history. Death Stranding has nothing compared to Breath of the Wild. <laughs> Death Stranding is nothing compared to Witcher 3. Death Stranding is compared nothing oh, to Dark Souls. Death Stranding is a that piece one. of shit. Do not compare that piece of shit on a stick to Breath of the Wild. Hey, I don't speaking, want to see it anymore. Speaking of shit on the stick, I gotta go pick up some food. Uh, I'll catch y'all later. Have hey. a good podcast. Take it All easy, right, Jordan. Thanks Jordan. for coming yeah, through. Girl. No worries. Have fun yelling, Bear. <laughs> 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 it's always good to us, Jordan. So make sure you guys check out Jordan French. Uh, he has his channel, Jordan French. You'll just search it on YouTube. He opens Pokemon cards, and his videos are very well done because he's very good at editing, unlike myself. Uh, so, um, all right. So, Baron, uh, do you have anything else to add? Do <laughs> you have anything else to add? Let's see. What else do we see? A lot I'm going to tell, tell you this. <laughs> people always want to call me a hater, but I'm one of the few people that actually stayed up and watched this thing live. I watched the thing in the whole entirety. You did better than me. I, I, I what, four like, in the morning, right? It was three to four o'clock in the morning. That's how long it. That's wild. You, you a so better man I than was, me. You I cheap. was the. I was the man. I was the only real ish man out here. That did that. But you know, it, it, but I'm, but I'm just hating on him because you know it's Sony or whatever. But no, I actually gave it a chance. I have never seen a game make a boss battle uninteresting. I have never seen a game make a boss battle un, un unexciting. Like that boss battle we seen in this game was the most boring, uninspiring thing I've ever seen in my life. The dude literally ran around and threw grenades, and the grenades really didn't have any impact, and they really didn't didn't look like grenades. It's like, what are we doing? Like, what are we doing? It's like I, I don't packages want packages from the east coast to the west coast. That's what yeah, the game's yeah. all about now. Now that's that we pretty know much. That's pretty much what it is. We're delivering packages. Um, and y'all gonna sit up here and tell me you want to compare that crap to Breath of the Wild? Some of y'all need to stop it. People, I, yeah, I, people. It, you got a lot of stre stretch Armstrongs out here, man. You got a lot of Mister Fantastics out here. Yep. <laughs> They'll try to stretch the truth and try to feel like the points all the way down. You see what I'm pointing? It's at the other side of my room. I can try to reach over there. 
that's 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 what a lot of people are trying to do when it comes to the Breath of the Wild comparison. Because at least Breath of the Wild, um, you had real physics physics mechanics. That's the thing about Breath of the Wild with open world. That's why it changed the face of open world gaming. It was literally stated that people were using Breath of the Wild as a case study to make more and better open games from now on. So I don't understand what Kojima was doing. Like I, I, I said it before, this is like a horrible WWE art, WWF art. Like Mark Henry and um, what's her name? May Young. May Young era type word bad. That's, That's how I, bad this is. That was pretty bad, actually. <laughs> um, I, that was actually a really. That was actually that was horrible, and like the ending was just. Yeah, I need to stop. It was yes. just. It was just really bad. Like it was like a like a. Oh, never mind. I'm not even gonna mention that. But anyway. <laughs> it was funny, man. It was funny. But it was so stupid that it was stupid. like. Yeah, it was so. And dumb. that's what Death Stranding is. Um. Hey. But uh, but that's Stranding, I mean, I think the game, like I said, it's probably going to be for those who really like, you know, there's going to be those Kojima dudes that are so into the, like, the story that, you know, like, so, I mean, that's really what this game is about, right? I think this game is really about the story more so than anything. So I read in the chat. <laughs> the chat the chat already said if you didn't see it. You said what? The Mae Young thing? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh. <laughs> Uh yeah yeah birth to, yeah the hand yeah there you go it was like a, <laughs> like a, just a hand it was like, it was disgusting I was like what yeah <laughs> Mark Henry anyway I mean um, what else would they was gonna do though there's nothing else they could do well the problem yeah. was the storyline in the first one. <laughs> <laughs> that's the problem they already was going with it she couldn't give birth for real so it was like, yeah, she I mean she could but a hand though <laughs> like I just. Uh, a hand? I mean, it was just I'm like, why are they doing my man Mark Henry like that, bro? Like, Strongest man in the world. Come on, man. Oh man. Anyway, shout out to May Young though, man. Rest in peace. Um yeah. All right. So Death Stranding, we all think that the game is not gonna be that great. I mean, it could be really good, it could not be really good. I mean, who knows? I will have to wait and see. I think the story, once again, I think the story, there's a there's a shot for the story, man. There's a shot for the story, so um, so yeah, um, all right, so let's go to move on to the next topic here guys and uh, not nah, guys stop suggesting topics in the damn chat, please um, <laughs> I don't, Stop suggesting hey, topics in the damn it. chat um, <laughs> Anyway, like I don't want to hear your GameStop bullshit right now, man I ain't trying to hear that we know GameStop's in trouble. We know like all the games How many videos are we gonna see GameStop like we know we know who gives a damn if they go out of business They go out of business if they stay in business. They stay in business like there's nothing that we can sit here and say that's gonna like so you guys stop spamming with GameStop bullshit, please. Uh, I don't know no, why they want to talk about GameStop. I don't understand why people people are so like I, I ain't trying to talk so about GameStop. I, I'm done backseat talking about GameStop. Podcasting, backseat podcasting as Angel Look, Page said. Don't suggest any games especially if you're gonna suggest, don't suggest GameStop out of anything. Like the most talked about thing. Like don't suggest that. No, it's all good though, right? Shout out to my man. But yeah, guys, we, we got our topic, so please. Uh, I mean, and I try to look through the chat, and especially if you're like you're an elite ninja, you know, I'll look and see. But please do not tag me and suggest topics. We already got the topics in the chat. Or bring that up in the Q&A, you know, at the, bring that up in the Q&A. Don't, don't suggest it, please. Um, all right, so let's see here. Next up is another one of Baron's favorite topics. Uh, favorite topics here. We've got the NPD, August 2019. Uh, no need to apologize either, Arash. No need to apologize. Um, uh, let's see here. August 2019 NPD. This is some pretty big news here, guys, because we've got confirmation of a number of big first-party Switch games doing well and the usual suspects when it comes to PS4 and Xbox One. Uh, Baron, did you want me to go down the list or do you want me to, or, or, you want me to go down the list? You can continue eating. I'll go down the list. No, I'll um, go down the list, man. I'm done. All right, feel free. So, all we heard for the last year is that people don't care about Fire Emblem. Fire Emblem is not that important. All we heard for the last few months is that ain't nobody buying Astro Chain. Platinum Games games don't sell well. Ain't nobody caring about that. But as I was telling everybody, including your boy Benji from Twitter, who said the same <laughs> asinine-ish, 
Yeah, which Switch. I told I told you he was wrong on that. <laughs> yeah, you did, but I, I was like, I la- you didn't see what I wrote on Twitter. I was like, did you really just say this? <laughs> what part of Switch exclusive equals a million sold do you not understand that's just been the trend so y'all just need to get over it already it doesn't matter what you think wow um, <laughs> yep. so um so to go down this list right Whew. um i had the list and i just closed it out like a dummy we need a jordan for this. <laughs> <laughs> we need a jordan for this we do need we do, we do need Jordan for like so he yeah, that's why that's the real reason why Jordan's he, not here. He's the no, he, he didn't he didn't want to he didn't he didn't want to do it. I know Jordan was he's slick he's slick about it. So yeah. MPD results coming in. I think we're gonna do the, uh, the switch was the best selling hardware. Again, I don't think that's uh, shock shot right. That, that don't nah, shock. Every, every, everyone's they give it up on the other consoles now. They're moving on to the new thing. Yeah, so it's, it's, it's PS, like, PS5 and the next Xbox. They've moved on. Yeah. So. Doesn't shock anybody. So, but uh, the number one game of August was Madden 20. Uh, it's kind of a little bit surprising that it still came out number one, but it came out number one. So it is what it is, right? Yeah. Now, uh, number two was <laughs> another shocker, which was Minecraft. Is that shocking? Ha- That's not Th- shocking. Three is the most shocking, OJ. What? It came in number two, people. <laughs> but it's, it's it's on. But it, it you know why it came in at number two and why it's not shocking. I knew this would happen because guess who played it? Um, guess who went back to playing it? Who PewDiePie? PewDiePie. Oh, yeah, he did. Oh, oh man. Number three is not shocking either. They got new DLC. Yep. Okay, number three is uh, Grand Theft. So. And they they just came out with that new Vegas DLC, so that's not shocking at all. Oh, well, that's still, that's, that's still that's still pretty that's still pretty hot. That's crazy. Um. Number four was Fire Emblem Three Houses. Keep no. No, that's 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 a bit. That's a. I'm not surprised. Surprised, but I'm like, I knew that it was gonna do well. You know. Yeah, I was surprised by that. I'm, I'm not, not surprised. surprised I'm not all. super surprised. No, I'm not super. I'm not. But you know, it's to see it like Fire Emblem like that. You know, people thought it was gonna. I mean, even Nate from Directfeed Games is like, is this gonna be something that continues on, or is it gonna drop off after a month or two? So he was kind of even kind of anticipating it dropping off, you know, especially below a Smash or below uh, like a, a Mario Maker. I mean, Mario Maker and Fire Emblem came out right around the same time, you know, so. Well, you got you got to keep remember Fire Emblem came at the tail end of July. So it only had a week to chart and it came in number two. So you yeah. know, you know, all the sales wasn't in the first week. So I already knew it was oh, going yeah. to do good in August. Yeah, and, I already and, knew that, and so. and that that's true. Exactly, it was definitely yeah. going to do better. But some people were expecting it to tail off, and maybe you know, like outside of the top ten. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't feel that way because it turned out to be a great game. Like I said, reviews help. Even though it was going to do pretty good on its own, the reviews absolutely helped it as well, and. And the, like I said, there's so many Switch games out that people are just going to buy into the Switch more. So number four was Fire Emblem Three Houses. Number five was Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. I don't That's think that game... Good. That's really I, good because it's a fighting game and it's been well, doing the, so well. And you have to consider the DLC. Like after E3, the DLC, everything that's coming out and everything. Yeah. So, but I don't think yep. I don't think Smash Ultimate came out of the top five ever since it came out. So that's crazy. That's something to think about. Number six was Super Mario Maker 2. Uh, uh-huh. Not surprised there. Number seven was Mario Kart 8. I don't know who at this game, point. That like, game's eternal, dude. It's literally, <laughs> it's a it's best-selling like game 85. with a switch. <laughs> How is people still buying Mario Kart, Mario Kart 8? Up? Well, like I said, you get new Switch owners every month, so I guess Mario Kart 8 is going to continue. That's like, that, that's like a number one buy for the Switch. Yeah. That and like Super Smash, Super Smash Brothers, and Mario Kart. Those are like the two surefire, guaranteed games. bank. You know, game for your you yeah. know, most game for your buck. Mm-hmm. You know, type yep. of games. All right. So number eight was Mortal Kombat Eleven. Number nine was Rainbow Six Siege. Now here's where everything gets crazy. Number ten was none other than Astral Chain. Chain Gang. Astral Chain Astral game Chain. came in at number 10. And what makes that so great, you know, is that Astral Chain came out on the 30th, and the cutoff part for the NPD was it was August 31st. So Astral Chain came at number 10 based on one, one day on the market. 
Yep. Which I think, sick. which is yep. absolutely incredible. Yeah. That's and, sick. And 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 people people wasn't listening to me, but I already knew when the reviews dropped. I was like, this game, game of is, the year. It, it's, it's it's a done deal. But other one other thing that he pointed out, uh, Matt on Twitter from NPD pointed this out about Astro Chain. Um, when I find it, Lord and mercy, I done lost it. But yeah, hold up, where is it at? Golly. But anyway, Astro Chain did something that no other game. Oh, Astro Chain was the uh, only new release in August to debut in the top 10. So it, it, it had two big feats that month. Baron, what? I want to yeah. answer a question in here because I think this is something that's important to preface before we get into this. Because some oh, people cool. still don't understand. This is from uh, Avadon's boy. He says, generally yeah, asking yeah. here, why are MPDs important? Here's the oh. reason, number one reason why, the, just a quick and easy way so Baron can get back to his point why MPDs are important. It's a business. You want to see games continue? They've got to make money. If nobody's making money on games, you don't see games continue. So think think about it in that way, right? <laughs> so that's yeah. that's the main reason why they're important. If a game's not selling, probably not going to see it much. Industry's got to make money so you can make this. They're not doing this just for your entertainment. You know what I'm saying, Chips? It's yeah. it, it, it's actually leg legit a billion dollar business. So that'd be like saying, why are box office sales important? You know. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna take I'm gonna take a, I'm gonna take a I'm gonna take a, a leap, and I think what what he's re referring to I think he's referring to why is it important for us for I guess the normal everyday oh. person who probably well he says no no I, I mean why are they important in the U S U S is the largest oh, okay. is the largest okay. um, buyer consumer of video games in the world. We sell the or we gotcha. they we buy the most. We generate the most revenue. So therefore, that's why they're important because this is the biggest money maker in the world when it comes to video games. Is you mean United us? States. I thought he meant us. Yeah, he, he meant, meant us, us to yeah. us. That's why I meant it was Say, what, it, that, it, it was what, it was what I was saying. It, it was what I was saying. What oh. I was saying. Oh, us. okay. Like okay. it was what I was because I, I got what he meant. It was why is it important to us? Like yeah, it's a business at the end of the day, but Same. he's. Same, yeah, same. Like, but look, the, look at Minecraft. Like, it, it's I mean, around because people are buying it. It's, it's the, the same reason. reason. It's the same reason. Yeah. Like, if we don't, yeah. if these don't do well, we don't get more games. Like, it's that's the same reason. Get, <laughs> yeah. Like Astral think, Chain. If Astral Chain sells zero copies, there's no more. Ast more Astral Chain probably isn't coming, right? Like, if if Monolith Soft didn't sell what they sold with the original Xenoblade, if Xenoblade flopped, do you think Xenoblade would still be here? No, it'd be. It'd be gone like Soma Bringer. It'd be gone like Xenosaga. It'd be gone like Baten Kaitos. It'd be gone like all of other Monolith Soft's other IPs, you know? Yeah. So that's the reason why it's important. You want to make sure that these games are doing well. Um, and the company that you like or whatever has money coming in to make more products. It's it's very simple. It's yeah, the, it's like, yeah. Basically, it's basically, you know, the reason why a lot of us like care about if like Nintendo does good with their games is because, as a matter of fact, I'll make it easier. You know why people could his thing, people complain all the time that Nintendo never drops their prices. You know why they never drop their prices? Because there's demand. When there's demand, you keep your prices up where they're at, where people are still actively buying these games. That's why Nintendo can be talked about and they're revered for their first parties because they're constantly selling. That's why most of the games on the top 10 are, if I'm if I'm not mistaken, Baron, most of those are Nintendo games, right? Yeah, or let me at least let me, half let me. of them. Let me finish the list and then I'll go through. Go ahead. Go ahead. Why are you really cutting me <laughs> off? Uh, yeah, but yeah. I, I, no, yeah, I was talking about Astro Chain. Astro Chain needs all this attention. I love this because I don't think any I mean, game has went from zero to 100 as fast as Astro Chain has. Like, y'all forget, we should, we seen this game for the first time in February. Mm -hmm. February. And, and to, to where we are today... And the buzz that is around Astro Chain and the high sales that are still it's still number one on all charts. It's, it's just crazy. It's still sold out in the stores. To where we are today with this game is is I don't think I've ever seen a game go from zero to one hundred like that in that short of time. So that's just very impressive, right? There. I, I think Sekiro actually was shown at uh, the Video Game Awards when it was first shown, and then it released. No, it was at E three. No, it was oh, at was E3. at E three. Oh, yeah, it was okay. at E3. I didn't remember if it was at E three or not. All right, yeah, it was. So, so you're right there with the Astro Chain. Yeah. So yeah, Such and um, uh, it really is. And uh, and y'all got to take that in 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 magnitude. Like, 
the, the MPD tracked from August 4th to August 31st, Astral Chain had one day to chart at all, and it came in at 10. So that lets me know that the first week of Astral Chain had to be phenomenal because within seven days, Platinum Games put out that tweet that I showed everybody about mm-hmm. thanking people to for buying Astral Chain and making it a huge success. So I'm willing to bet Astral Chain is probably well over a million now. After I told it. you guys, lifetime. Wait, bottom. well over a million right now. Yes, as as of September twelfth, yeah, definitely, physically, definitely. Oh, definitely, it's well. I over told you guys, like Aiden, Aiden's gotta be paying you ASAP. I've been saying, I've been saying, for? day one, over five million in lifetime sales, easy. Well, I over, said this was going. I said this was going to be right now. Selling. Physically, yes, not even yeah. on digital. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, I mean that that's cool. I mean, if it is, yeah, I mean, I would probably say by the time that we real, like by the time that we know the sales, yeah, we're gonna know that it's gonna be over a million. But yeah, my boy Aiden, man, definitely gonna have to pay up on that. I think he owes me how much was it? Was it cool? 50? Sixty or something? Six, sixty? 50? Yeah, sixty. Yeah. Wait, yeah. somebody bet you what? Somebody that bet was me. gonna reach a million by the end of the Switch lifespan, or at least no, the year. Next year. Switch lifespan? No, no, no. no. Next or, or, year around this, or next year around the launch, or around the end said, of August. like a whole year. Yeah. One wait, wait, year. wait, wait, wait. Wait, he said a million in a year? No, he said it wouldn't even get a million in a year. Yeah, wow. I, to- I told you guys, I said five by million. The way, when did he by say the way, this? Baron, Baron, Aiden when won he- the Astral Chain in the giveaway after the fact of the bet. He's the basically way. giving it back. <laughs> oh, wow. So what's the chances of both of those things? It's Oh, my God. <laughs> so when, when did he make this bet? I just, he, when did this bet uh, a, couple, a couple weeks ago. Okay, so it was before the reviews came out. Yep. Yeah. That's still that's still a dumb bet to make. He like, he made he before the game came out he made the bet. Yeah. No, like I'm talking like, about did he make that bet yeah. when the reviews were already out? No, before the reviews, a week before. Yeah. Okay, before the reviews. Okay, because yeah. I was like, that's already a dumb bet to make before the reviews. But if you made that after the reviews, man. Ugh. Well, anyway, I'm gonna breeze through the last of them. The last ten. Number eleven was Spider Man. Number twelve was Breath of the Wild. Still kicking. 13 was Red Dead Redemption 2, 14 Black Ops 4, 15 was Age of Wonders, which is a shocker. 16. <sighs> 16 is Super Mario Party. <laughs> Your favorite game. <laughs> hey, who keeps buying this game? Stop buying Super Mario Party. Families. Number, seven, number 17 was Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3. There you go. Love that game. 18 is Super Mario. That's the one that I was like, why are people buying this game still? Mario Maker is right there. Like, what are you doing, people? Super Mario Brothers Deluxe is 18. 19 was The Dark Pictures. Number 20 was Assassin's Creed Odyssey. So to take away uh, notes out of the top 20, Control did not rank in the top 20 at all. Control, a game that was on a stall base of 150 million consoles, did not chart. Did not chart. For August, that's pretty sad. And Astro it went down Chain. by what ten bucks in like three days. Yeah, Astro Chain charted with one day on the charts to do it. Control didn't do it at all with a whole week. Um, that's that's pretty bad. Control, I, like I said, the you know we were talking about this a little bit before, and I think the reason why Control didn't chart <laughs> is because uh, it's not that multiplayer you know, game that's super hyped and graphics and all of that. It's just not that. It's not a God of War. You know, it doesn't have that appeal. It's not a Red Dead. doesn't have that appeal. And to be launching in this time period with, like, Borderlands and with so many other games coming, Call of Duty and all that, I think just people just forgot about the game, man. PS4 and Xbox One users. I'm going to tell you the real reason. They look at the length of the game, too. They they looked at the length of the game, and they said, man, this game's not super long. I'm going to tell you the real reason why Control flopped. Okay. Let him know, Marin. Can I hear you? Let I'm him know. Ready. We're ready for you. We're waiting. And he's gone. <laughs> Is he gone? He's frozen. Well, the, the, we can't handle the. You can't handle the truth. <laughs> he, he he just froze there, man. He just said he can't. You can't handle the truth, man. I th- I think he, we'll he wait. Froze. Like, we'll, we'll, he has to be ready. So if we wait, I'll be ready. I think I think we wait and pretend that he's not there. He'll come up. Mm. No. Okay. So, okay. Well, Avadon, what's your reason? What's your reasoning? Well, actually, let's let's actually talk about the NPD. What were some of your takeaways? What were your things that you kind of want to highlight and talk about when it comes to the NPD? 
Well, with the MPDs, looking at uh, the top three, it's it's high time. You look at August, you know, the the, the um, school years. And I see Madden NFL 20 is, is number one easy because that's college kids central right there. So, you know, a lot of a lot of kids are buying this before they go in their dorms to play this. That's a easy game for a lot of kids to play their dorms. Minecraft, easy, PewDiePie, Grand Theft Auto 5, the new DLC. And the new DLC actually looked in... It looked pretty. It looked pretty cool, just from the the trailer they showed. So that's the takeaway that I got. The thing that I like the most is, in the midst of that, still like Nintendo's like top five, like out of five out of five games, top ten, which is really dope. Like these, the summer games of the of the Switch are and literally um games that haven't been out for a whole year. If I'm looking at this, with the exception of Mario Kart Eight Deluxe, are in the top ten, which is still really good. And if you look at through the whole entire list, you know, Breath of the Wild is still there. Um, Marvel Spider-Man, which is an excellent game, that's still on there. So you got great games on here. It's just sad that Super Mario Party made the list before um, Control. That's, like, really sad. <laughs> well, I mean, it's Super Mario. It's Mar- Mario, man. You know how Mario is. It's does. Super Mario Party or Super Mario um, Deluxe. Bros. U Deluxe. Like, those games Once made it, it on there. Super Mario Maker helps Mario. You guys don't understand. This is for, like, the expanded Children. audience. You get a lot of these guys, like, you know, that are, like, me and you, Avadon, you know, elder statesmen. And we've got these kids, yeah. and they need games to play, too, right? So they're not going to play Control. They're going to play... New Super Mario Bros. They're gonna play Mario Maker. They're gonna play Super Mario Party. So they will. Yeah, You're that's... right. You're absolutely right. They will. And speaking of which, uh, I know when you get it. When I get a chance, I'm teaching my son Super NES games now. Now oh, that yeah. that's on the Switch, those those are gonna be my go to now. Yeah, that's yeah. a great idea. Well, the NES Yoshi's game. Island maybe. Huh? <laughs> Yoshi's Island would be a good way to start too. Oh, definitely, definitely, definitely. Yeah, I played Yoshi's Island a lot when I was younger. Uh, what about what about you, uh, VC? What are your thoughts on this uh, takeaways from the MPD here, man? Well, I'm not surprised about Minecraft and GTA. Like, that's just second nature at this point. It will always be there. And then Astral Chain for one day hitting 10, like, that has to be a sign. It's going to be a trilogy for a while. It's going to be lasting a long time as a new series for Platinum. I'm actually, I'm actually playing it right now. <laughs> you know, I was literally playing it right before the stream. And... It's just so good. I like it so much better than Nero Mana. I like it so much better than Bayonetta 1 and 2. It's The whole game as a whole is a better game for me. I know more people prefer Bayonetta, and there's people who prefer Nero Mana, but Astral Chain is just, it's it's the game. It's, it's the shit. Yeah, man. I, I agree with you. Um, I really like what, there's some things that are really good about Astral Chain that it does really well. There are some things that Bayonetta does a bit better, but overall, they're both really good games. Um, they're yeah. both really good and games. One thing about the MPD, I, there's just one game that I personally have no idea what the hell it is. Uh, Age of Wonders Planetfall. I've never heard of it till I just I, read it just now. I don't, I don't know. What, what number is that? Oh, yeah. 15? 14. 15. 15? Yeah, yeah 15. I, I don't know what that is either. I, I, there was that game, Man of Media, and I heard some people talking about that yeah, game. That was, yeah, yeah. Like uh, your player, game. too, uh, did yeah. some uh, streams of that, actually. Yeah, that seemed like a game it, that it I looked like a game, but it, it came out at an awkward time. Yeah. It, it, it's, especially in, in this time period, a lot of people are looking for, especially like summer, August, a lot of people are looking for like time wasters, man. You know, like they're looking for those big games that are cheap. I mean, like, you know, families, they've already spent, you know, like, I, I think with the PS4 and the Xbox One in particular, uh, when we talk about kind of control a little bit, like, they're looking for yep. stuff that, like, they can just play for a long time, you know? They've got, they already probably spent a lot of money at summer, you know? Like, they're not looking to sit there and spend 60 bucks on a single-player game that lasts, you know? You this, know is, this is maybe home 10 hours if you're lucky. Season two. <laughs> I think people got to understand it's like the summertime is home buying season, is when yeah. people go away, go for trips, this too. Yeah. This wedding season, there's so many different things in the summertime. So it's like you want something that's going to be, like you said, be a time waster. And if you're not buying games now, you're preparing for this month of September, which yeah. and I, I feel like yeah. I feel like they they really lock these these games in. Like the game I, I already got pre downloaded, Zelda's Link Awakening. Yeah. That's like my game for for September. The only game I'm buying this month for me, it's AI Somnium Files. Yes, I just oh. I can't wait. And it was rated a 34 out of 40 on Femitsu. Did, one did point the, less than Link's Awakening. Did you see the rest of the reviews that went up? Uh, Some of the other I saw ones? A, bunch hey, of, yeah. a, a bunch of the different ones. Yeah. I, I, didn't, I didn't see the 10, though. I didn't see the 10. There were some, I actually 
that there's one. some really good reviews for the game but yeah i mean yeah. yo it looks really good yo and, oj and also and, dragon quest 11 s yo oj better say adam back he's already he should be able to already be in the group yeah, yeah there he, he is. doesn't he doesn't i don't need to add him again he just said he just he definitely said on the on the twitter chat he just needs to go back he doesn't know how to use this <laughs> <laughs> yeah. he just needs to go back into the same message and then say click video and then join in <laughs> So yeah, oh, boy. so um, so yeah. I mean, that's kind of like my thing, like with control. I think that sixty bucks, like for summer, for that type of game, brand new IP. I mean, Alan Wake wasn't even a game that like kind of lit the sales charts anyway. So I mean, like I don't know. I think that I'm not trying to sit here and say that they should devalue their own IP and charge less. But man, that might have been that might have been a time, you know, where you where you kind of roll with a you know like a twenty nine or like a thirty nine ninety nine maybe or four maybe like a forty nine ninety nine. That might be the time that you kind of roll with the forty nine ninety nine and see what you can get, you know, like because people just didn't, um, people just didn't look, people just didn't look that way, man. Um, but uh, Baron, it might be back at some point, might not be. I'm not really sure uh, when it comes he, down to. It. I mean, he's just muted. <laughs> he's muted. So, um, so yeah. But anyway, we're gonna go ahead and move on to the next topic here, guys. Um, and that is a very interesting um, thing from Nintendo. It's called Ring Fit Adventure. And this is essentially Wii Fit. Let me Fit. go watch that right now. Okay, yeah, go ahead and check it out. Uh, I'll talk about it. And VC, you've seen it, right? Yeah, I Yeah, see okay, it. you've seen it. Um, so it's called Ring Fit Adventure. And this is a, like Wii Fit and an RPG combined together. You get this resistance band, just for those who don't know, I'll just give you guys a little bit of background, or at least on me. I have a bachelor's degree in kinesiology. So, I mean, oh. you know, I'm very knowledgeable on exercise, you know? And when I first saw this, exercise-wise, for a home workout, my mind said, this is crazy, but it's ingenious. Because it's fun enough with the RPG elements that if you're the unique type of person like me who likes exercising and who also likes video games, that you're going to find this to be interesting, right? Um, now, is that for everybody? No, not necessarily for everybody. But from what I've seen in this game, it really does a good job of combining workouts with actually having fun. Because that's the number one thing that I hear. I used to be a personal trainer. Working out is not fun. It's boring. That's why women go to Zumba classes. You know what I'm saying? That's why people want to dance and do different types of exercising. And they do, you know, they do different things when they go to work out because it's just not fun. Um, this is a way to at least have a little bit of fun while working out, while doing effective exercises. The leg lift exercise, very good for your core. That yeah. thing that they had, it was a res it's, it's like a built-in resistance band. So that little ring that they have there, that's very good for toning triceps, um, helping out with the shoulders and all that, like holding like a resistance band, very good for that. So from what I'm seeing from my background, I'm looking at it like, yo, this is going to be a lot more fun way to exercise if you want to do that. And that's this, like I said, not going to be for everybody, but the workouts do seem, in my opinion, more fun and better than We Fit because We Fit was about yeah, can hear me. We can hear you yeah. down there. Yeah. All right. Um, Go ahead. We fit was about balance, um, and balancing is not always fun. Um, to be honest, it's just not, um, and that's what we fit was. A lot of it was about balance and about um, you know, extra, literally just normal exercising. <laughs> that's just not fun for everybody. This seems a lot more yeah. fun. So, um, but like I said, it, this is not going to be for everybody. This is obviously like a weird thing mm -hmm. for a lot of people. So, uh, what are your thoughts, VC, um, on this whole ring fit thingy? I think the way they made it into a game was the smart way to do it in a way where it can attract people who like video games and it can attract that casual crowd that has been around with the Wii Fit and with all the other previous well, this... kinds of stuff like that. Okay. And you've seen no, I'm just looking at it right, right now. This is definitely, yeah. definitely. It's, it's, it's a set. I'm going to mute my mic. Right, right. I'm going to mute my mic. Sorry about that, guys. No, you're it's good, dude. Good. You're good. Uh, I think it's really, really unique how it uh, plays, uh, how you move your legs, it moves the character, and if you run or jog, it actually changes how it is in the game, which I think is cool. And how different moves affect the gameplay, like if you stay still like this and maybe like arch your back or whatever, and you do like that defensive shield, like all that kind of unique twists to an RPG while keeping it with fitness elements. It makes it something very unorthodox, but it's something that it's Nintendo in its nature. It's just what Nintendo does. They made Labo. 
they did uh, want to switch. Like these are the types of things that Nintendo always do. Even back before they even made video games, they made toys like this. It's just that it's connected to the Switch. And with me personally, I'm kind of interested just because the gameplay itself is an RPG. It looks pretty enjoyable. There looks like to be uh, stats rising and lowering. I don't know. It just it looks intriguing to me. So I'll keep it in my mind, keep it in my mindset, but. Uh, I need to play it with some friends. I feel like if you play it with friends, it's going to be more fun. Because just like going to the gym, uh, you didn't mention it, but when I used to go to the gym all the time, it'd be like me and a friend or two, and we'd go together, we'd work out for like two hours. Like It's all about doing stuff like that with friends. So it could be fun by yourself, but it's probably more fun with friends. Yeah, yeah, I talked about that, why people go to the gym, like earlier on my stream, why people go to the gym with their friends and stuff like that. So yeah, yeah, makes sense. Makes sense there. Um, yeah. I think, I think it's going to do pretty well. I think the price is good too. $80. So it's a $60 game and $20 for the peripherals. I think $80 is as low as it was going to be. It was never going to be lower than that. People who would have expected that are just nuts. So, somebody said, I remember said, somebody said like $20. I was like, Bruh. yeah, Kira, nah. <laughs> I'm like, nah, that's, that's not how this works. Nintendo's going to mark up the, they're going to mark, obviously they can, they can make it cheaper if they wanted to, but they're going to, oh, they're always be marking yeah. up crap. So. Yeah, and besides, there's going to be people who are going to buy, like, four of them and go on Amazon and be, like, 160 each. <laughs> you, see, you think people are going to scalp this? Yo, I don't know where David Drayden is, but he should be scalping them. <laughs> <laughs> My boy Double D be, do be doing a good job of scalping. Hey, he's a successful that scalper, really does. Man. He's a part-time 100%. scalper. He's pretty good at it. I, uh, hey. Yeah, I may a... consider becoming a scalper. Nah, Double, Double D... Over. We're gonna put some. We're gonna put some respect on 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 Dave Drayton. Dave Drayton, he is a hustler. Yo, no, I don't know what he is. No, it's I, know, I know. I know he is. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Like, just joking. Like, put some respect on his name. Like, oh, yeah. yo, he a hustler. Absolutely. He absolutely. is. A, he is a hundred percent hustler. I respect his hustle. Hundred percent. Absolutely. Yeah. And, you should uh, definitely. You should definitely talk to him. See what because he's he he definitely. Yeah, yeah, you should definitely I'm talk definitely to him. There in it myself because I have some old Yu Gi Oh cards and I randomly was like looking up some of the prices and like. I have three of the same card, and it's like sixty bucks. And it's like mm. okay, that, that's a quick game right there. Yeah, man. absolutely. <laughs> and that's three cards, not even like a bunch of them. So I don't know. I may consider doing that because I used to play Yu Gi Oh back when I was younger, and I have some like the newer ones, but not super new, but they're worth some. But yeah, scalping could be a good idea. But back to the topic at hand, I think it's gonna be a real unique idea with this game. I want to see more games utilize the ring. If they can do that. And make it more useful than the labo. What what games are you talking about? You do. Well, you you could you do, do? Uh, WarioWare. Uh, I hear you, Baron. You're good. You're good. But uh, you could do WarioWare. That's like the first thing that comes up in my head. Uh, maybe you can use it for uh, Super Mario Party Two, and they have like mini games where it's about the the ring, stuff like that. So we'll see. And there he goes. <laughs> and there he goes. <laughs> But yeah, that's everything. And uh, I saw someone joke on uh, Twitter. They're like, all your fitness and BDSM needs from Nintendo. Because <laughs> <laughs> of the ring. <laughs> uh, well, okay. Yeah. Well, um, I don't think Avedon's finished watching it yet. Okay, he's almost done. So I guess I can... I, can... I, got, I, I was going to say, I, I watched enough. You watched enough? Okay. Thoughts? I watched enough. So we fit... I'm, I'm sorry. We fit... Ring... We fit... <laughs> <laughs> I'm just playing. Ring fit is it's actually interesting because i get what oj said it's literally like we fit on steroids and like the resisting um ring that this is this is the type of workout you really want to lose some weight and you want to get back in shape let's establish that now like for me personally for ain't for growing mass the you ain't, you ain't gaining muscle that's a fact yeah, you're not. This is for like if you want to trim down. It's for if you want to trim down. You want to like get Finally. get lean, a, a lean look. But like for my, myself, I use uh, app on my phone called Home Workout 22, and you know you can use those sets. But looking at what they have here, it mirrors a lot of the you want to lose weight type of um style. So like like VC said, this would be really good if you have like friends or if you're in like in my shoes. Or if you have a family or something, like you could actually do this with your kids, your wife or your kids, or your husband or your kids. You could do whatever you want with this and it could be have a lot of fun doing it. So I actually applaud Nintendo for this. This is actually gonna sell a lot. Like really a lot. It's probably gonna this is probably gonna explode the sales like it did on the Wii Fit. Really? Wii Fit? This probably will because the Wii Fit the Wii Fit was huge because of how easy it was to get a real workout regimen in there. 
and this is actually doing that but taking it to the next level. I don't know if that's gonna, what I don't know if it's gonna be as big as we we it's gonna sell way it's better possible. Than Labo, but it's not gonna sell more than we fit. Because you know, we fit we fit sold forty million and then we fit plus sold another twenty million. So well, it's sold, so it's sold I, sixty I think million. In the lifetime it could sell six million, maybe eight. So yeah, we, we fit we fit so I think we fit well, sold a total no or did it it sold twenty million and then we fit plus sold another twenty million. So it sold forty million. Yeah. We 40 fit, million. Yeah. We fit sold forty million total. Well, like I said, I'm I'm throwing the possibilities out there. Okay. You guys know me. I always throw the possibilities out there. I did this with Astro Chain. We see where that's going. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> right. That's true. So so I'm like, I'm just throwing the possibilities out there because right, because you could take this on the go, that's another plus. So for people who are traveling, that is we think you had to be stationary at home for that. But think of people who travel now. Yeah, yeah, you're right. It's a portable workout machine. That's true. You're exactly. Right. So there, there's so many possibilities with that that it really depends on how Nintendo markets it, for real. You, you can't really uh, use it on the Switch Lite, though. Oh. Why, well, can't, then. Why, why can't you use it on the Switch Lite? So you're going you're gonna to play with the little Switch Lite mm-hmm. standing on whatever type of stand you create it to stand on. Like you put it mm-hmm. behind a pillow or something to stand it up, and you're going to... Do the whole thing in front of this tiny little screen. You're really gonna do that? No, I'm just saying, why can't you? I didn't say that. I'm going to. I'm just saying, why can't? I just said, why can't you? I can't. I can't fathom anyone doing that. At no, all. probably not. But I, I don't think people who play the Switch, people who buy the Switch Lite, probably aren't gonna be playing this. And that, that's that's, that's yeah. a different type of gamer anyway. So yeah. yeah. Or people. And, and the thing is, with it is like the type of style that the game looks. It, it looks cool for someone like us who would like an RPG style game. But for yeah. the casuals, they're gonna look at this. Or female character that they can't change the character because a lot of those casuals like the me's for making their own character and it looks like it's gonna be just this one female character which i don't care i have no problem with that i just play games in the way they are but casuals they care about all this miscellaneous garbage it doesn't matter so wrong well we fit we fit you couldn't change wrong. anything wrong. so oh let me hear this i'm ready baron Bear, you good now, right, tell, tell me what you got i should be good now you hear me you Bear, were good before and then you left so you're, you're, yeah, I, I don't, I don't, I don't know what's going on Baron, with Comcast. You're, you're, no, your internet's choking harder than the Atlanta Falcons in the Super Bowl. <laughs> I don't know, man. Com, Comcast must got an outage or something today. The night I think, I think Matt Ryan's running the show over at Comcast. <laughs> <laughs> but no, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and flip the camera back on. Hopefully, uh, everything stays smooth this time. Right? All right. You want, you want to talk about uh, Ring Fit Adventure? Yeah, I do. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. I think VC is wrong about the character. I think the character is going to be very, very appealing. You know why? Do you know why, VC? Well, I know why. I already Can like I tell you why real quick? Personally, Look. but go. Can I tell you why real quick? She's uh, going to spoil it. She's yes. she... thick! Well, we, 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 we already knew that. I already knew that. That's thick not the point. Hell. She's not I like that. that. I, I can I like no that. longer trust you, Baron. Point. I can no longer trust you. Did you just call her thick? Really, oh, Baron? A, a, a black really man Baron? just called her thick? I already really told Baron. you that I can't trust black people that call petite girls or thin girls thick. Don't wow, take that Baron. back. She thick. <laughs> take that wow, back. Baron. Take wow, that Baron. back, she Baron. She's not as thick as twin tail, though. She's not as oh, thick as twin not. tail. But she you've, thick. You've, redeemed, you've uh, barely redeemed yourself. By the skin of your teeth. That girl's not thick. She's, she's fit. She she has a little bit of shape to her, but she's not thick. But you you think that's the reason why the game's gonna do well? Is because she's shapey, shapey ish. Yeah, I think it is. I think I think the the games are very interesting. It'll get people attention, especially those people that play like Arena of Valor and those type of games on mobile. So it'll get their attention. And the little ring thing is. It'll hook all the soccer moms and grandpas and grandmas. And then, oh, yo, are, they're, they're, they're gonna be laying on the ground to do that uh, thing that they were doing, and they're gonna be stuck on the ground. Like like <laughs> leg lifts. Those are yeah, called leg uh, lifts. Seated, yeah, yeah, seated, yeah. I don't, so I don't leg do lifts. it like that. Yeah, I don't do it like that. How do you but do I your leg lifts, VC? Yeah, I haven't been in the gym in two years. Oh, so. okay. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so if anything, it'd be worth it for me to get it. But I'm, I'm like you already know, OJ. I'm pretty skinny as shit. I'm, yeah. I'm still not athletic. <laughs> <laughs> That doesn't mean you don't need to go to the gym, though. 
Hey, hey, uh, my Let's... standard, it's perfectly fine without me having to go. <laughs> That's true. You are, you are yeah, thick. We got, we got thick, fit trainer now. So, oh, you know. Yeah. <laughs> I do, I do like, I do like her hair. Her hair looks looks cool. Like it's all her like, design is really cool. Yeah, it's really good. She her hair holds the the ring a little bit sometimes too. So that's 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 cool. She looks like uh, gone from uh, from uh, from Hunter Hunter at one part. Um, all right. We, hashtag we thick trainer baby. Hashtag no, we, no. we, we, we I mean, I mean hashtag thick, thick fit trainer. Thick, thick, fit, trainer. thick, thick fit, fit trainer. Thick fit trainer. Some people were saying <laughs> that fit, no thick fit trainer. <laughs> Uh, I think that uh, I think that people already want her in Smash, but these are people who also don't play Smash. <laughs> these are all the same people, people who don't play Smash and go on Rule Thirty Four every day. <laughs> <laughs> they're already looking up Rule Thirty Four. Uh, uh, they well, definitely have Ring to Fit Trainer. They're already they're they're waiting for it, dude. They're they're sitting there camping out. <laughs> <laughs> they literally wait on the Rule Thirty Four website uh, yeah. at like eight in the morning. Like, yeah, okay, they, is they, it okay? They're, ah, there it is. They're waiting. They're waiting for it. They're yeah. they're waiting for that and Waluigi. Those are the two. So what's, the, what's the next time? Oh, we got we oh. got Q, we got Q and A. Oh, hold. hold Q, I thought we had another time. Did no. did we? What was the other topic? Uh, we went through everything. We went through everything pretty quickly today. We really did. It would. Oh well, I, I guess I'll get my final thoughts on MPD since you know Comcast. Yeah, you. yeah, you. you. <laughs> Yeah, because he's like you disappeared. Feel free, go ahead. <laughs> Evaporated. I think. Uh, I think. Uh, what was I saying? Oh, I know the reason control flop, which yeah, a lot of people ain't gonna want to admit. I think Astral Chain cannibalized that game. What? Astral I Chain. Really feel, I feel like mm, with the cannibalized reviews, this game. Control. Control. I feel okay. like the reviews came out the same day, and Astral Chain was far and beyond the better game. Mm. And it sent a lot of, as you know, the PS4 runs into a craze, and all this salt stuff started to happen. It it just it and, and control just went under the, it went under the radar. Did, so when did control did control drop? When was the release date for control? Uh, Tuesday. It was that Tuesday, yeah. so it was like twenty six or something. Like so that. Astral Chain was on Friday, so, and Control was, was on Tuesday. Tuesday. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So you're saying that Astral yeah. Chain, as a single player game, sucked the hype out of from Control exactly okay okay i mean i'll be honest yeah i was like bro astral chain this I mean. yeah. like, if you astral chain didn't come out that week i probably would have i probably would have bought control and played it but exactly. i was so hyped for astral chain i was like i was like, astral chain i didn't want to do anything well i was trying to beat fire emblem three houses to be honest you know i was, I really was trying too. to get that done i was trying to get fire emblem three houses done which i did get done a week before so i did i i did have nothing to do that week but i just wanted to make sure because i finished it that sunday the sunday before astral chain came out i finished it that sunday so i did have that week open but i was like hey man astral chain is what i'm doing this week so if control was the only great single player game i probably would have spent the 60 on that to be honest so maybe maybe you're onto something there i am because i i I can see that actually i didn't think about it i think what happened the reviews came out the same day they both came out the same day and Astral Chain was getting praised out of this world. So it's like, everybody was like, forget Control at that point. Because, you know, the the, the, P, the Sony peasants went into outrage because Astral Chain turned out to be great. And it's not, and, you know, they couldn't, they didn't have anything to bash the switch on. So it's like, they went into outrage with all this salt. And then no. the casualty was Control. Uh, let's was- let's make sure that we get the right information here in the chat, guys. Uh Shadow of Nexus, who's an elite ninja, so I want to make sure that we get this right. No, um, Control doesn't have a higher review score than Astral Chain. Astral Chain has an 88. Control has, like, I think, like an 81 on Metacritic. So, why? How in the hell did that man think Control had a higher review score than Astral Chain? Wow. Some, sometimes Shadow of Nexus doesn't research stuff before he says things oh in the chat. <laughs> Shadow of Nexus is a, is a troll, okay? No, he's, he's not a troll. troll. He's not a no, troll. Time. I think so. He just doesn't. Sometimes. Like, he, I, yeah. I, I mean, like, not a bad troll, but like, he trolls, like, for, like the joke which. Which you in the comments. I don't like, think he was joking though. I think he nah. actually thought that control had a higher score. Yeah, he, I don't think he was joking. Like, I think he thought that. I'm usually on. trolling in the chat. Oh, I, 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 he's like dead ass. I think he oh. actually thought that control had a higher review score. I, I I thought he was I thought he was trolling sometimes because I read some of the comment I read a comment that he wrote on my video. I was like, oh well, well yeah, he he does good comments on our videos. Yeah, yeah, he trolls on the videos. Yeah, he trolls. But okay, I, that's yeah. what I meant. That's that's what I thought. This one okay. he actually thought that control had a higher review score. <laughs> gotcha. I don't um, know how he thought that. <laughs> Yo, I'm still mad that Aiden isn't here. I saw him on 
uh, a few other streams earlier. Like I was just scrolling, I seen him commenting stuff all over the place, so like Damon X Machina and stuff. And I'm just like, you better be at the podcast tonight. Yeah. <laughs> well, Duh. well, the thing about it is like <laughs> Control. Control's a great game, guys. We're not trying to sit here and say like, oh, well, you should only go get Astral Chain. We're just trying to rationalize what happened to Control because, guys, this isn't just. We're not just doing it just to be douchebags or whatever the case is. Like this is their livelihood remedy. And this suck. This really sucks for them that they sat there and made a game for two, three years, or whatever the case is, and it comes out and it doesn't even make the top. It doesn't even make the top twenty. That's not good. You don't. You don't want that to happen to anybody's game. So um, we're just what, trying to see. It probably shouldn't have, have been three to four hours. I think. I think what happened. I think it's two things that happened. No, number one is that it went up against Astro Chain head to head, which was not going to be a winnable situation. Uh, Number two is that it didn't release on Switch. I think that was very detrimental to it. Um, I don't think so. Really, it released I don't on think three other consoles. On Switch. I, I think that was very detrimental to it. The perfect fit. Um, I don't understand if it was made for Switch or even announced coming to Switch later on. Uh, I, it doesn't make any sense to me. It, it really doesn't. I was like, I don't know why. But you, you bringing them trash ass Saints Rose games. You know what I mean? Y'all have no problem doing those. Run. <laughs> it's like, but it's like, I don't understand why Control wasn't on the Switch. That was, that was weird for me from when I, when I first saw it. Why Control's like, not on the Switch? Yeah, I was like, why is this not on Switch? I mean, Because Remedy's not a big studio. I don't think, I just don't think they cared at the time. I mean, they were making this game, I think they they first started making it in 2016. It was before the Switch was even a thing. I, yeah. I, don't, I don't think they even, that wasn't even I, on their radar, you know? Yeah. I mean, yeah. I'm not saying that it well, can't come to the Switch. I mean, I think no, it would be great uh, if it did. You know. Well, if it does oh, now, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure they're thinking bucks. about it now. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I mean, <laughs> pretty sure. I, the, the, they're probably thinking about it. I mean, I would if I were them. I, I'd think about it. Um, I think that it, it could find a better home on, on the Switch uh, when it comes down to it. Uh, also, almost like you know how you know Yokai Watch Four necessarily didn't do as great in Japan as previous games. They're like, oh, let's just port. We gotta port this thing to PS4 real quick. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, so. I, I think that's just outrageous. <laughs> Um, I, I, I see why they did it. I, I see why. Um, level, but level five is weird. Uh, Kudo Tengetsu. Uh, let's go and we can get into, uh, if that's it, uh, when, when it comes to the topics, we can get into some Q&A. We haven't really done Q&A for the past couple of weeks, so I think this is a good catch-up week for Q&A. Um, Ooh, so if you guys have it's questions. Been three weeks. <laughs> huh? It's been like three weeks. <laughs> yeah, it's been a while since we've done Q&A. So we'll have a nice little Q&A section. Um, so uh, let's, let's hear it. Let's yeah, hear it. We got a donation, so let's, let's go ahead and let's... Uh, uh, let's let's read off some of these donations. So Jake Miller donated two dollars through super chat and says, "Hope this podcast is better than the football game." I don't know who's playing right now. And is the football game bad right now? Oh, and- it's Tampa, Tampa Bay and Carolina, so you know. Uh- oh yeah, NFC, yeah. NFC. Well, NFC South. I, I don't want to disrespect Barron's conference there. Oh, but, uh- Lord, here you go. <laughs> NFC South is disappointing. You, what do you mean? Your least. team is in my in the same conference, NFC. What are you talking about? NFC South, your division, oh. Baron. Your oh, division. You say conference at first. You say Our division. Con- and the, 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 the NFC West is a the conference of champions, okay? That's the oh, conference Lord. of champions, all right? Oh, my God. Seahawks. Seahawks. <laughs> Just the Seahawks, actually. <laughs> Rams, they got there last year, but they lost. Anyway, um, but if you look at it, no, the past the past few years, we've had the Niners. Within the past 10 years, it's been the Niners, Seahawks, and Rams all in the Super Bowl. You know? So that's not, that's not bad. Yeah. But anyway. Um, all right. So let's go ahead and get to this uh, next uh, don- donation. Kudo to get to 91 with the $2 donation. It says, should I get Astral Chain or Link's Awakening? Mm. Astral Chain. What kind of games do you like? What kind? Let's say, let's ask that question first. What type no, of game? No, Astral Chain. Period. Astral Chain. They're both. One of them's. An, one of them mm-hmm. is an action adventure. One of them's. They're both. One of them's like an action, somewhat adventure, action, actiony thing. You'll get. You'll get more hours out of Astral Chain. I'm gonna let you know that right now. Oh yeah. I, I, oh, way yeah. more hours. Oh, you definitely gonna do that. I, yeah, I personally feel you should pick up Astral Chain now, and then you can just get Link's Awakening whenever you know. Because Astral Chain, can... Astral Chain is out now. Like you want instant. Like you got money to spend right now. Go Astral have fun Chain. right now. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah, I agree. Like don't I wait to Astral... have fun. I had to say Astral Chain for all those reasons he said, but most importantly is that. Um, we know the game is doing well, but we need to do. We need this game to do exceptionally well. So uh, I think platinum games have worked very hard, and I think they need to be rewarded. So yeah, I, I think that's why I say Astral Chain, Link's Awakening. It'll be there later on down the line. It ain't going nowhere. 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's a that's a remake. If you play, if you ever played Link's Awakening before, I mean, you you could try it out, see Link's Awakening elsewhere. With this game, it's a brand new experience. Yep. So, and it's, it's not to knock Link's Awakening because it's definitely gonna be I, a great remake. But hey, I got it. Right. I got pre download it. I go for it. No, it's gonna be a great remake. Shout, shout out to Doc Trey here in the chat, man. Um, Word. What's up, Dre? Yeah, Doc Trey's here. Shout out to Doc Trey. Um, but yeah, man, like, yeah, Astral Chain is the, I think that's the pick. I think you're going to get more content out of Astral Chain. It's the more innovative game. Um, it's the more unique game. And yeah, Link's Awakening ain't going, you could play that whenever, you know, it's just, it's a, it's a remake. This is a brand new IP that, like, like Baron said, deserves your attention and respect. Um, all right. So next up is Deadlock 7. And he says, uh, thoughts on future of loot boxes, OJ? Finally made, uh, mainstream TV news here in the UK. FIFA, etc. looks like they are going to be in trouble. Well, yeah, didn't they have like some type of parliament type of hearing and they called them surprise mechanics instead of loot boxes in the UK? So, so yeah, man, I mean, hopefully hey, 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 OJ, Trey, Trey is in the chat. He made a <laughs> I know, but he retracted his car. Okay, yeah, okay, I see. Oh, new one. He retracted two of them. But then he said, he said, yeah, salty. Uh, these haters are mad about Astral Chain. Yeah. Astral Chain <laughs> gang. You know, you know, he sounds. <laughs> hey man, they gonna be oh I'm it's gonna be hey it's gonna be wild on Twitter today and tomorrow. I'm I'm I am blowing everybody up about the success oh my, of Astral Shake. Oh my gosh, I'm, I'm here I'm, for I'm it. I'm gonna make some people mad tomorrow, boy. I'm here I'm, for it. I'm making yo, some people yo, mad. Yo, Baron, I can't lie. On your Twitter, there's some like literal urchins on your Twitter feed. They're literally just <laughs> there waiting to bite you all the time. <laughs> literally, you say a single word, and they literally try and Bear, rip you. Bear, Bear be try to, Baron's one of those Bear. dudes, like in the schoolyard, they will like push you, and they tell the, tell the yard aid, like, hey, look, look. <laughs> You know what I do? You know what I do? <laughs> I, 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 I trigger them, and then I go, guard. Yeah, that's what I'm guard. saying. Like, Baron's a dude that be flicking somebody's ear. I'm like, guards, you know what I'm saying? And like, when the person's ready to fight, Baron's like, you know, like, you know, don't mess with me. That, that's what Baron yeah, be doing. He goes into the bushes like Homer. Mad, just like, you know, they be mad as hell. <laughs> All right, uh, next, qu- get some more questions here, guys. If you guys got questions, probably we'll start doing like the spawn cast does where we um, Discord. You guys can put some questions in the Discord for us. Probably start doing that if I remember. Um, <laughs> well, there was a question. You said what? Nobody's really asking any questions. I, I didn't Yo, really see. Yo, it's been three weeks. Do you guys yeah. want to ask questions? Ta- tag me at Player Essence or hashtag Player Essence. I'll be more than happy to answer you guys' questions. He's literally asked questions every day on the PE lives. What's going okay, on? Okay, here we go. We got one here. Berlin B has a question. He says, are Google Stadia games going to look better than Switch games if there's really no lag? Yeah, Google Stadia games can look better, but it's based on your internet connection. But the thing about Google Stadia, which you have to realize, is that it's running off of a massive server that has a teraflop count, right? So the highest output of what Google Stadia can do based on your internet connection can get you graphics that actually surpass PS4 and the Xbox One because of its teraflop count, right? But it's based on your internet. Now, and if your internet's trash, it's, it's it might not look better than Astral Chain, but it's really gonna be dependent on your internet. If you have solid internet, your game is gonna look really good. You got that bandwidth, it's gonna look great. It's gonna play great. But if you don't, or if you got multiple people using that connection, eh, probably not so good. Probably not so good. So it is really going to vary uh, depending on your connection. It really is. But the, yeah. the the max output of what Stadia can do is higher than PS4 Pro and Xbox One. They have, I think it's like a 12 teraflop database server thing just sitting in like San Francisco or something or whatever. So Or throughout the United States and different Google crap that they've got. So, so yeah, that's essentially it. Um... All right, let's go ahead and get to the next uh, uh, next. Yeah, we question. got a bunch of questions in the chat yeah. now. So. Oh, they got a. Uh, I think I see the question for me. Yeah, there's is a that question the for you. Question? I, did did I skip one or is it? Uh, is it it's about Damon X Machina. Damon X Machina. Are you still excited for it despite yeah. the early reviews? Where do you see that one at? I don't see it. I see it's it right, right there. Between, Jalen, uh, Jalen Jetty Cor- and John. Am I still excited for Damon X Machina? Somewhat. I'm 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 still on the astral chain high, honestly. Yeah, yeah, that, that this game's amazing. It is. It yeah, is really good. I could have finished the game tonight, but I'm like, no, <laughs> I, I want to. So here, here's orders. here's the thing. I've I beat it, but I just been in the game <laughs> trying to collect the stuff I didn't get, and I'm just trying to you know max out all the legions. 
There's, yeah. there's some in-game content, people, for people that don't know. There's in-game content after you complete the story. You know, the main game, there's in-game content. So And um, the orders are really cool, really fun to do. So you can get really like, more premium material and all that. That's what I've been doing. Just doing all, all the different orders, getting all different colors and stuff for my oh, uh, yeah. legions. That's what my thing has been doing. Yeah. It's, it's, it's going to be pretty hard. I, I expected the game to be good, but I didn't expect the game to be... Masterpiece, good. like it's just it, it hooks you. Like I'm, I, I'm probably going to play it after I after this. Is <laughs> no, I'm, I'm actually playing it before I go to sleep tonight. I think all four of us are going to be playing Ashley well, Kane be, because I actually got my video almost done, so I don't have to be up editing late. And I did editing oh, in between. Really? I usually don't like to do that in between my my OJ live and the pod. I usually take a little bit more of a break, but I actually said screw it, I'm going to edit. So I edited on my project, and I got one of my videos done for tomorrow morning just so I can play because I got I got to work. I got to oh I don't got I got to go somewhere tomorrow morning. So Yo, I, like, I want to. When, when do you think that video is going to be coming though? Tomorrow morning. Oh no, I mean for Astral Chain, like tomorrow. Oh really? my Astral Chain video? Uh, yeah. No, that's probably going to be next week. Next week. Yeah. I'll probably beat it. Yeah. I'll probably beat it this week. I was originally going to do a review for tomorrow, but I was like, nah, I'm not going to force myself to go through the game tonight. Like, I'm just having too much fun right now. It's, I can't just rush through something where I'm actually enjoying doing just so I can move on to the next game. Like, yeah. I can't yeah. do that. I, so I'm willing I, to had, I had to force myself a little bit. I was I was already deep toward the end, but I, I, I went through it because I knew I wanted to play Gears 5. I got it. I got Gears 5 day one. So I was like, man, I got to at least beat the main story. But even after I beat it, I'm still switching back from Astro Chain to Gears Five. To, like, to everybody, <laughs> to, to everybody who's asking questions about, it. to everybody who's asking questions so, about Damon X Machina, the the publishers of the game obviously don't want the game to do well. So there's exactly. your answer. There's your answer to everything that everybody's yeah. asking questions about. They and, obviously and don't before, want the game to do well. And it's marvelous Japan, not marvelous Europe. Don't get mad at Marvelous Europe. Get mad at Marvelous Japan. Marvelous, Marvelous Japan. Europe just talks for them. So if if the game doesn't do well, they can only blame themselves. Like, and there's nothing to get upset. There's nothing, nothing to be like, oh, it's dead. Or who cares? Like, they obviously don't want it to do well. Uh, so, you know, there you go. Um, all right. So I, I, I hate I hate that because that will probably ruin the hot streak of Switch games selling a million. So, but that's not to me. That's that's an asterisk. That's not a. That's not something that should be counted, in my opinion. Because I mean, you got a, somebody who's literally, so you, have to you got a company that's literally saying, no, we don't want the game to sell more. Marvelous is sabotaging their own game yeah. purposefully. So you can't count that. They, they really rather would have the income off content creators more than the sales of their game. But yeah, yeah. It, it seems it's that wild. way. But nobody's and even it, making enough content for them to even collect. So to me, it's, 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 it, it's, it's because it's an old mentality so my my thing about yep. it is that i'm not going to sit there and count it when you got somebody literally sabotaging their own game if they allowed content creators to talk about the game and to do whatever they need to do the game would have been fine but they're yep. not so they that doesn't okay. count they saw every single switch game switch exclusive that's came out so far the developers are happy they like hey yeah talk about our game like the the developers from fire emblem and from astral chain they're saying yeah please play Mario our game Maker. show it off everybody's happy they, they want content creators like they don't care about the damn pennies we make on on, <laughs> on, on this stuff you know what i'm saying or the dollar i mean i mean seriously, you gotta get so many views just to make even any money on this so it's not like they like seriously you get like 10,000 20,000 30,000 views you're you might make like 50 60 bucks or something like that you know yeah. like you it's not like it's not like you're getting PewDiePie levels of, of numbers here for this type of content so they're literally it's literally pennies you know what I'm saying like it's literally pennies and these developers aren't trying to get pennies from us but these idiots from marvelous Japan don't understand anything so I mean like I'm not counting that crap you know screw that mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't, I don't, I don't get it. I, I when I seen that on Twitter, because I seen Spawn Wave and uh, somebody else was talking about it on Twitter. Andre Seegers, because somebody, yeah, I was like, oh man, that sucks. Because you had people that was wanting to do it. Oh, the dude from Digital Foundry, he, they wanted to do an analysis on it. Yeah, he was commenting and on it, Andre's thread. No. Yeah, and the thing was, I played the uh, the the prelude demo. It's running technically. It's running really well. They they increased the frame rate pretty significantly, so that probably would have helped the game if Digital Foundry actually was able to cover it. And, so I'm like, and we're not allowed to talk about all the improvements. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, we're not allowed to tell people, hey, it's a lot better because the first demo it was like, yo, this wasn't very good. There was frame rate. Nobody's allowed to monetize and say, hey, it's better. So what what can we do? 
everybody still thinks it's as bad as it was at the first demo. So, okay. Yeah. I, I don't know what to say, man. Not only that. Yeah. Sucks. <sighs> Oh, leave it to one. Leave it to one knucklehead to mess up a good street. The president of Marvelous Japan is at fault. He's he is the problem, just him. But uh, I want, I wonder who on Nintendo's side said yes. We're gonna make a game of Marvelous Japan. I wonder who who it was that was like, yep, we're gonna do this partnership. Well, they probably Marvelous Marvelous probably pitched it to them, and Nintendo said, sure. We'll pick it up. They were like, we have some extra pennies that we can uh, yeah, give, give said, away for this. Sure. They said, sure, why not? I mean, the game, like I said, the, the, the concept of the game is freaking amazing. And I played it. There are no mech games. Like, like uh, all these mech like games. at that, all. Like, yeah, there's general, like zero. Because franchise. they like, never in, sell. A niche genre. You know, mech games never sell. Armored Core, which I like the Armored Core series on the Xbox 360 and all that. Those games always reviewed way, actually reviewed way worse than Damon X Machina. You know? <laughs> Those were games reviewed like in the 60s, like low 60s. But I love Armored Core on the Xbox 360, you know? So yeah. this game kind of reminds me I, of Armored Core. So I don't know, man. Nintendo continues to push it pretty hard. I think I think I think it'll do decently. It'll do decent. decently. It's well, not it's gonna number do it. It's three not... on the eShop for Japan, but it's never even touched the top thirty for USA. Not yet. Europe. No, it hasn't. I'm waiting to see what happens uh, tomorrow. See if it shows up. It it, it yeah. might show up at the bottom, but mech games have never really broken through here in the West. They're always more popular in Japan. Yeah, yeah. but the way this one was, I mean. It had a, such a good t- trajectory when it first got it, shown. It did. Like, when it was first shown, I was really <laughs> hyped for it, to be honest. I was hyped when I first saw it. And, and it's like, nah. Man, it's the same. I don't know, man. At E3, I was I was confident in this game. I was like, at E3, I was it confident. It did. They, they, they really screwed it, it up it, themselves. Um, they yeah, really screwed it, it up themselves. Up. But, hey, it is what it is. Um, yeah. All right, let's uh, go. Let's get to this I next. I saw one question oh, go ahead. Uh, by Kanji Sutra. It was the next question that was after. I, I know there's like 200 comments now since no, we had go the last question, but they were asking about the patent for the, the Joy-Cons, the bent ones. What are oh. our thoughts on them? Oh, I think it's cool. I like the idea. Yeah, sure, why not? My only thing is I feel like ergon- ergonomically, I think that's the, the way we the, say the word. Um, it okay. does make sense having the bent Joy-Cons and your screen is just the regular screen. I feel like... It'd be hard to like put it away in like in a bag or something. Just I don't know. I feel like ergonomically, it's, I it thought the Joy Con the patent was for the Joy Cons to be able to bend back and forth. That's what it seemed uh, like. Yeah, like not just be like, bent. Not just be like, bent. I thought it was. I thought it was indefinite bent. Like it was no. just like a bent Joy Con. Oh no! Like for your uh-huh. ha- like like for your hands, so it's more comfortable. Like that's why that was my logic. I thought it was like, oh, like, like snap it you into bend place. It, yeah, no, like, it didn't snap it back. Yeah, yeah that's, what what back. that's what I thought it was because because mm-hmm. I had like that line and everything as if like you can like mechanically yeah. like move it. Well, know? that would be even better then if that's the case. But I don't know. I'd have to see it to believe, like to think if it's even that good of an idea or not. Because of course it's just patents and you can't really go off of too much from patents at the end of the day. Yeah, that's true um all right next up is um birdman says uh do you guys think breath of the wild 2 will release in 2020 i think it will be i think it will because game Um, gameplay is almost finished voice acting so how you know voice acting almost finished he said uh the gameplay is almost finished and the same for the voice acting part i don't know where he got that from well well, first off there's barely any voice acting in the first breath of the wild anyway so well, I mean, this could be right, but in the second one, but this could be different. Yeah. But Definitely. wherever he got that info, please link it to me. I, I want to read that. I don't know true. if the game. I mean, it just let's just go back and let's just say that without the assumptions on some of the stuff. If they started working on it in 2017, which is very possible, 2017 yeah. they started working on it. I mean, 2020, three years. I mean, that's more than enough time. They made they made uh, Majora's Mask in one year. Because they, they yeah, reused the engine from Ocarina of Time, so yeah, I, I would, I would, I would love to see it. I would love to see that holiday. Uh, it's twenty twenty. Pos- it's possible, but then again, it could be a tw- like something might come up. You never know with game development; something might come up. They might get a new idea, and then it delays it to twenty twenty one, or it's just going to be a twenty twenty one game. So I mean, yeah, if it comes, I think it's twenty twenty one at bro, this point. This year has already been crazy. If Breath of the Wild makes twenty twenty. Do, do y'all realize that lineup for 2020? The, the only reason why I think that it could make 2020 because Nintendo's trying Man. to say, like, you know, you have a Breath of the Wild, Switch Lite, you know, Breath of the Wild 2, when the next systems come out. So you can get Breath of the Wild and Switch Lite for, like, 260 That's 
that's a really good value proposition for the when the next systems come out. It's, it's huge. Kind of huge. So. A, yes. so what if they do Switch XL next year in holiday? I mean, I don't know if Switch XL's coming out. <laughs> they could do that, and then they could drop the price of the current Switch. You know, so maybe you can get it for like two fifty. You know, so two fifty in Breath of the Wild, you get that for like what? That'd be like three, uh, three something. Three twenty with tax. Yeah, three twenty with some tax. That's yeah. that's pretty good to get. And like they, a bundle maybe, even like a Switch XL bundle with with Breath of the Wild, maybe something like that for four hundred or whatever. Because like chances are the the next Xbox and the next PlayStation are gonna be five hundred dollars or something like that. So, well, get- they're gonna want to put it at five hundred. It's realistically gonna probably or should be six hundred with all the tech that's inside. They're, they're really going to be losing a whole cut on what they're uh, created with each product, uh, the PS5 and the Xbox. So I want to I want to point something out to y'all of what we officially know that's already for 2020. Um, I'm just going to go with Breath of the Wild because I think that three year time span just makes because they said they got the idea of creating a game off the DLC. So I think that makes sense, right? Yeah, yes. Yeah. It's valid. Yeah, so uh, Breath of the Wild 2. Um, <laughs> um, Come on, say Animal it. Crossing. <laughs> no, Animal it's just, Crossing. No, Animal Crossing. No, this, uh, this, this, damn, this damn internet acting up. So, yeah, Breath of the Wild 2, Animal Crossing, Lame Ass Horizon. Um, no More Heroes so No More Heroes 3, mm-hmm. Bayonetta 3, and. Uh, Xenoblade Chronicles remake. Yeah. And Pokemon Diamond and Pearl remakes are coming next year. You are you sure those are all Let's Go? Boy, that, that's not happening. Yo, if Let's Go games are happening next year, let's go go to Silver, bro. Next, next, yo, let's, go, let's go Crystal. Let's go Crystal, man. Or let's no. go. We need uh, Diamond and Pearl remakes, and they have to look like good games, not like Gen 8. Please, for the life of me, I want to play a new Pokemon game. It's been since Sun and Moon since I had a decent Pokemon game, and I'm losing my mind. <laughs> They're gonna look. Oh, they're gonna oh, look yeah. like the next. Po- they're gonna look like Pokemon Sword and Shield, but Diamond and Pearl Pokemon. <laughs> and that's the problem. <laughs> what? You that's just funny. be happy that it don't look like that. Just be happy you know, about that. Honestly, I'm at the point where it's like I'd rather them have the old sprites. But I don't want to get into Pokemon anymore. I'm done. Wow, you wilding. <laughs> <laughs> you wilding. That man said, I don't, "I'm tired of this." Yeah, so tired. Um, drained also i also want to point out that um next year you said no more heroes but there's also trials of mana next year as well so that game excited for that game super excited for that game um all right next up another question is uh do you think square enix this is from shadow next says do you think square enix made an extreme error by making final fantasy 7 remake episodic without announcing when the next episode is coming avadon i don't know if you want to um, I would say they should have a better play with that because he had yeah. a valid point. Looking at, well, first of all, this episode by itself, there's a lot more content. They, they've they reshaped everything. So I, I'm very careful what I want to say because this is not the same playthrough as, you're gonna, as you would play in a regular Final Fantasy game. Not by far. You even have some, which... One of my concerns was getting summons. You actually have summons in this first episode. So I want to say, I want to say they didn't have it announced, but if they're releasing this towards the beginning of the year and this is a progressive game that's going to be episodic in their eyes, I said this in my video, I'll say it here. I have a good feeling that they're going to release the next episode by holiday 2020 just so they can get those end of those end of year sales for this game. That's my hunch. I hope and pray that that's true. Just because personally, if, if it's going to be any sooner, in my opinion, it'd be holiday 2020. That's holiday 2020. I'm going to see the second part. That's that's the that's the sweet spot. Any any time before that, in my opinion, too early. Because you, there's, for those, okay, I'm going to say this. I didn't get to say this in my video. This game is for like real Final Fantasy VII people who just love the story of Final Fantasy VII. It is? If the story by itself, like if you love how people, how they try to the story by itself and how they reshape the story. Because there's a lot of reshaping and retelling of this story that's 
actually valuable. What, what for if me. you like the complete story of the game? But yeah, that's yeah. how I like to play my whole game when I buy it. But I mean, then, I, mean I, I love Xenoblade's story, but I don't know if I'd like Xenoblade's story but, if it was. But re- Xenoblade, Xenoblade is not remaking the story as they do in Final Fantasy VII. They're retelling different parts of the story in a way that because has been the done. game is episodic, so that's the reason why they're retelling different no. parts of the story. Well, they re- you want to re- know what this remake is? It's like getting a loaf of bread, chopping up three whole pieces of that loaf of bread, and then you're saying that also. Wait, 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 wait. Did, you, did you play the game? Yet? Did, you, did you play the game? Did you, you play the game yet, though? You played the game. First game. Yeah. Did you need to play the game? We already know. They yeah, already my analogy us. doesn't matter with, with how good the game is. It's just well, the point of it's literally going to be you not having all the games at once. So like, here's the so here's the here's the thing. Let me let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a real question from a business standpoint. So if you talk about business, if they're going to put in all this X amount of hours of giving you that much that amount those graphics like that and get and decent enough gameplay, which the gameplay, we don't even know how in-depth the gameplay is going to be yet, which I'm a little interested because you get to use the environments around you, so there's going to be some depth there. So, between gameplay and graphics of this state, you're telling me, with the amount of hours put together of the entire game, that should be worth 60 bucks. The game- you're telling me it should... You tell you tell you telling me of that caliber of a game that has not been done of those graphics of a game that has not been remade of that level. So you're telling here here's my thought process because over that. as years progress, the graphic standard rises. Of course, I understand why you're thinking that, but nah, it should be sixty. Uh, it it should be so. It should that. be. It, I, I, they they should wait three more years to finish the whole game and give us the whole game. I, I, I personally, I'm not gonna buy any parts. I'm gonna wait till all the parts are out and then buy the whole thing discounted for forty bucks at Walmart. Because see, like, and, and you see right right there, right there, right there, right you there. What? Out, you just proved my point that you're not the market. You say discounted, so you're not even you're not even in the market of the people who they're targeting, bruh. Okay. You want a discarded part? No, you're not. 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 Let me let me let me let me, tell you, let me tell you how business works. You know you know how Apple sells their iPhones for a thousand dollars off the market. That's their market. The people who want to buy it day one. If you are not going to buy this day one, you're not there who they're marketing to, and that's okay. That sounds like what every company should be doing, but that's not. That's okay. That's okay if it's so, not your market. Me- Go ahead, Joe. Go- so so and I, I see what you're saying, Abaddon. I, I get it. But it, I, think, I I understand. But... I think the, the issue that I have here is that they're doing this because they want to milk Final Fantasy Seven. They want to not milk because until it's numb. It seems like they want to milk Final Fantasy Seven. Like you, you... they they want to appeal to dude bros. They want to appeal to the Western audience. They that's they're why they're changing the gameplay nice. from a turn based RPG to an action RPG. Well, that's why they, they're doing the graph. That's why the graphics look the way because they know that they can get people with graphics. They know they can get people. They want to sell a gazillion copies of this. And if that's their way of doing yeah. it, that's fine. But I personally feel that a game with maybe PS3 level graphics with the Final Fantasy VII remake that gave you the full experience, in my opinion, would be a better for their fans. But if you, that's just like what I think. I think like yeah. a, would be Wanna better for their for fans if they gave you the full game and it wasn't this god tier PS5 because it looks like a PS5. Let's just be real. It does. It does. It's not going to be PS5 so game. I mean, it's not going to run as good as PS5 games normally. There's going to be frame rate dips. There's going to be. It's it not, does. But the game is going to look better than a lot of PS5 games, right? So they're they're sitting there and they're spending all this money on the way that it looks simply to get Western gamers. It's the same thing they did with Monster Hunter World. Monster Hunter World literally gutted what Monster Hunter. Was about from what i understand of what monster hunter fans have told me monster hunter world is a gutted experience on what you normally get because they want to increase the graphics and appeal to western audience and it worked right monster hunter world sold a gazillion copies so it seems to me like they're doing a very similar thing here with this game but it might even be a little bit worse because it's episodic you know um so you know that that's just my my thought process on now that's fair that's no. and that's fair. That's that's respectful. Like let me get, let me say this. I respect that that notion of like if you give it a lower a lower grade, give it the full game. But I would say, and I see Oran trying to say it's screw graphics. But let's just I would say what I'm saying right now is not so much is not so much me say it is in defensive square. It's more so they dug their own hole with this. Like, like I said, that's what I said in my video. If they released this five years ago, 
to what you said, then yes. But the fact that they kept on dragging it, no, it's not even the fact they dragged their feet with this. It's the fact that they teased this game. You have to look at the fact that they teased this game and look at it as a serious game since 2005. Since 2005 or the PS3 tech demo. Like, that's why I kind of disagree with the point because the PS3 tech demo, it looks like a more serious game than, than Trials of Mana, just from a, from an art scale stamp, from an art style standpoint. And for people who have been waiting for this game for probably that long, say, hey, Square, what you going to do with this? What you going to do with this? Square Enix has ducked and dodged talking about Final Fantasy VII Remake until 2015. But they've, and, been, but they've been work. They've been, you know, they've been prepping, prepping for Final Fantasy VII remake for a they, while. Even they have. before then, they've been prepping for. I think they wanted to go with Luminous Engine while they were developing uh, Kingdom Hearts as well, and then they decided to switch quickly. Whereas I think Kingdom Hearts, they yeah. said they waited a little bit longer than it made things worse. Uh, exactly. And, so I mean, I think that. You know, Square Enix has done this before, right? They've chosen graphics over gameplay and over mechanics and over content multiple times. Actually, the Final Fantasy series has been choosing graphics over gameplay and content for a while now, since Final Fantasy yeah. 13. Well, and not in, including in this case, the online Final Fantasy, of course. Not including Final Fantasy, but although Final Fantasy 14 launched in a horrible state. But I mean, like... 14 is Final... actually improved now. No, it's a, a lot, lot better now. Yeah, I said launched. Launched in a horrible yeah, state. Yeah. Final Fantasy 13 chose graphics over gameplay. That game chose graphics know. over gameplay. Final Fantasy 13 2, Final Fantasy 13, or Lightning Returns. Those games are looked at as the... I don't, like the, I don't, I don't like those games either. So you know, but, I'm, I'm, with you, I'm with you on that. The I'm original, with you on that. So what I'm saying is that since 2010... They've been, or 2009, they've been choosing graphics over content, you know, packed gameplay. And I think that they haven't caught up their tech and the people that make the game haven't necessarily caught up to what they used to make back in the day on the PS, the, the PS1 or Super Nintendo PS1 days, whatever the case is. I still think Final Fantasy VII Remake is going to be amazing. I'm just disappointed in how it's like, how many parts is this going to be in? Like, I've tried to that's, research it. That's like, the how biggest, many parts that's, I'm this hoping be? for three. That's what remember, that's what I'm hoping for. I want three too. Only four hours, so they may try and split it in a way so, where they expanded Midgar for the first disc. They have about seventy percent of the second disc from the original game, uh, as the second disc for the remake. That's the mistake they're the making. Third will be the twenty five percent of that second disc and, and the that's, remainder. See, that's the mistake I feel like we're all making. We're trying to recreate this and envision. From, what it is. We're trying. Yep. You're right. We're trying to envision this from the older game into a more graphical version a better graphical version and that's just not what we're getting it's like for instance you saw the trailer you don't fight reno and rude in eris's place that doesn't happen in the original you don't fight that that's that's new stories you you saw this dude chasing um cloud and jesse on a motorbike he, he recognized him as, as soldier you these are new ele new story elements that are being retold. That's why I said story-wise, content-wise, there's value there. You even have freaking Mark Hamill using his Joker voice as Don Canero, bruh. I mean, there's definitely value. Don't get me wrong. There's there's value there in the production. The production values of this game are absolutely incredible, are very, very, very good. The, the only bad part is that we know we know the story and we're going to have to sit there and wait for episodic thing, you know, episodic stuff because of graphics. I mean, this value voice acting and yeah. everything that they're doing could be done yeah. on a lower graphic then. But reimagine but the reimagining of the story, but the reimagining and retelling all, all of, of that story, could yes. be all of that could be done on a lower graphical end. It doesn't have to be as much graphics as it is, but that's the Let reason me. all of it could be done on a lower lower scale to get the whole game normally. In my opinion, but they're spending so much time with the graphics in this game. They're but it's not just. But it's not just the graphics, though. It's not just the graphics. What is this, it? Then? That's the thing. That's why I said retell. Once you're retelling the story, and once you take away the hardware limitations of graphics of of of, of, of the I said hardware of console limitations, you could literally tell the story a lot different. And that's what they're doing. Be able to tell the story different. Be able to see Midgard differently. You, you it's could, like well, I mean, you could tell the same story like with, on a PS3, just with less graphics. It's just they won't look as good. And I that's think, yeah, I think y'all are just getting too overboard with it. Because I, mean, I, I, I feel like I feel like the thing is with this game, there hasn't been any other game requested to be re remade more than this game ever. There hasn't been. 
This is like the game that really started. Hey, well, they should remake this game too. Well, they should remake this game too. After the the eye possibility of Final Fantasy VII remake was there, that's when every other game was in a conversation for. So this is like the grand. This is like the WrestleMania of remakes. You gotta make oh this my a best. I did it. Yeah, I went Bruh. there. I went there. Bruh, I, I'm, I'm gonna stop you because I honestly sat here and listen very quietly. Look, <laughs> this is the New Year's revol- I'm, I'm, resolution. I'm, I'm, revolution I'm, I'm, of. Uh, I'm go ahead and stop you. No, you're not. You could try. This. This is. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you this right now. This is. This is the equivalent to to David Arquette winning the world title. That's that's what this is. So it's look. <laughs> you gonna this go there? Game, for this, yeah, I'm gonna go there because this game should not be broken up into episodic things like this. It shouldn't be. I don't know why y'all think the graphics are going to be so much drastically reduced if it was a complete remake. I don't think it would have looked bad at all. I think it would have looked like a PS4 game. I believe it could have. I, I just think it was what OJ said. They took the other route because they just wanted to milk it. And yeah, because like, really when y'all when y'all say that, it make it it's on. I'm gonna be real. It's like putting it on the on the same stool as EA, and I don't see that. I see but like they are. You, you look at Final <laughs> Fantasy 15, but come they on, do dude. do like look at look look at I Final like Fantasy 15. Most people, but Final Fantasy 15 I'm, was so milked that you had episodic content for individual characters. They announced I'll give you that. before they even let you switch as a as the other character in the and game. They, I'll them. give you that. I will give you that. I'll I'll give they you Final milked, Fantasy 15. Final, I'll give you that. That story of Final Fantasy 13 was absolutely milked. Lightning Returns, they they put that together with three people and like the guy down the street and said, "Can you guys make a game?" <laughs> that game was put together by the most incoherent development team in the like they had no idea what one they were was talking deaf, that one game was blind one couldn't even speak yeah, <laughs> lightning returns makes no sense the game makes no yeah. sense the game makes it, it, it's a it's a pitiful ending to a really cool character they milk the hell out of that that story arc they've been milking final fantasy for a while now final fantasy 15 had a multiplayer expansion called comrades that nobody asked for okay but they made that they made that it's not that's not part of the base game it's a separate thing that you buy and then on top of different episodes episodic episodes for each character oh on top of just a bunch of actual extra dlc they have been milking final fantasy for a while now are they as bad as ea no because they don't do the microtransactions like ea like ea does in there but damn dude they they really they milk avadon Man, they milk. Listen, they milk listen, him. listen, listen. I want to see how many. Like, first of all, I want to see how many there are to this. Because anything more than three, then I'm like, all right. Then I, I can see your point. You don't need to make this more than three. Midgar is a huge city by itself. It's the biggest city in the game. I, I'll give you that. Now, after Midgar, when we go into like you know the the, the world map and everything. I want to see what they're going to do there. I want to see how you're going to transition between the towns because things are thrown off differently. You know, you get the first two summons, uh, Shiva and Ifrit, in the beginning, in this beginning part of the game. You usually don't get those. That's why VC to your point. That's why I was like, things are different because yeah. you don't get those two summons until you don't even get Ifrit to beat Genova for the first time, which is well into the game. So you're getting new summons, you're getting new boss battles. And it looks like there's going to be newer characters and newer um, NPCs, like newer NPCs, newer original characters. That's what I'm interested in. I'm interested in seeing what they're going to do with that, how they're going to retell this story, and is it worth? Like, to me, it's, it's all about how it's packaged. It's really all about how it's packaged. Because what you're right, by itself, I'm going to make it clear, I don't support episodic things, but right now... If you're going to, I'm gonna look and see how you package this. If you do it like like a telltale type of uh, type of episode, because I hate telltale, I hate telltale to back it. I hate telltale. If you do, if you do like telltale, I'll be upset. I'll be really upset. Tell telltale, it's like. Who wants to do that? Like, who wants to sit there? There's going to be 15 or 10 episodes, guys. Wait for the Like, ain't nobody waiting for your bum-ass, like, episodic walking simulator, talking simulator. Ain't nobody waiting for that. Then you wonder why. Why are we going out of business? Well, why did you, you go out of business? Like, come on. Ain't nobody sit. Well, you mentioned if you tell, do it, 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 if you do it like that. that. <laughs> it ain't going to be like Telltale, dude. Don't sit there. 
Hey, I'm even gonna. It ain't gonna be like Telltale is. Like, see, see, like that's what I'm saying. If it's like that, I'll be pissed. I'll be really. It ain't upset. gonna be like. Let's, <laughs> let's not. Let's not bring that up. Okay. Let's not. So, I'm not. No shots to the people who worked at Telltale, but I mean, something was gonna give with that style of game. Everybody was like, "We don't like this." They're like, "You, you want it? No, we don't want this. Can you? You, you, you want more episodes? That, that's what they would do. No, nobody likes that. But they continue no. pushing. That. Nobody likes that crap, dude. No. But if it's the like three feature one wasn't that bad though. It was a decent game. No, I, I, and I agree. And but I, the I'm, rest of them are pretty garbo. Nobody Fine. likes to sit there and get like I don't want to wait for a freaking ep- a video game. Like I don't want to wait for an episode. Hey guys, episode one, episode two. Like wait six or seven. just but, give but me the see, stupid that, that game. Part, that two one's good. It's one game. There's no other parts. It's just the one game. That's why it's so good. It's literally and, the one game. But you, but you know what? <laughs> but you know what though? But you know what? I, you know what I do are doing. And if you guys want to wait, I'll say this. Wait for this. I see Square releasing all the parts and releasing a remastered edition with the whole game in one part of the PS5. Oh, of course. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what I just mentioned like 30 minutes ago. Yeah. <laughs> you, know it's, you know it's happening. You know you know it's happening. That's yeah, the- I don't fall for the trap. I don't, I don't fall for traps. Listen, man. <laughs> what, Square you- activated, activated the trap card, and I'm falling for it. <laughs> <laughs> a, a lot of a lot of this game is going to do extremely well this game is going to do extremely well it's going to there's going to be people who buy this game play it for an hour like that's not what i wanted it doesn't play like call of duty and then never play the game again there's definitely going to be a lot of dude dude brodish dude broish that are going to buy this but, game yo they're going to buy the guards. game go five hours in and be like what the hell is this anime stuff <laughs> that guard scorpion fight that well sentinel scorpion now that fight actually got me more hooked Cause it's like when they showed it at um E3, it's like they chopped up the fight, but now it's like, yo, you really gotta use your environments around you to stay alive. So that brings some more elements to actually fighting these games. I was like, I'm not gonna fly through these bosses, which to me again, there's value there for the veterans who play this game too. Not just for the newcomers who like the new um action RPG style, but for those who are used to the turn based style, for those who are used to the original Final Fantasy Seven. You just can't run through the old bosses that you thought that were easy anymore. Yeah, it's like you gotta, you gotta actually gotta put some thought into those fights. So, to me, I'm gonna play that. That this is why I said it on because Rob was watching it on his stream. I said this is a take the day off from work game. No, it's not. Yes, it is. <laughs> no, the hell. Is yes, it not. is. Yes, it it's is. It's not even close to taking the yes, game off work. Yes, it is. No, yes, it's not. I can't Pay my time off. Oh, oh, Pay time man. off. Pay oh, time man. off. No, no, no. Pay no, time off. Pay time off. Borderlands 3 no. is a take off work game. Borderlands 3. Pay time off. The hell with all that. The hell with all that. We sat up here and let you talk and stand for this game for 20 damn minutes. You are not going to disrespect us by saying this is a take a time off from work game. It is, it is. not. It is. It is not even close. <laughs> not, for, not, not for no damn 2% of the damn game either. We're not taking work off to play 2% of the game. Hey, No, hey. we're not doing that. No, we're not. You don't have to, I will. Shoot. Oh You're going to be the only one doing that. And, I, and I'm, I'm still getting paid. I'm, I'm still getting paid. You know, only one, and plus, this is probably coming. Isn't it coming around the same time as Cyberpunk twenty seventy seven? So it's, it's coming like, out. It's coming yeah, out March nothing. before. Well, it's coming out like three weeks before March the, March third, twenty twenty. I'm taking a day off. Okay, four weeks. But ain't no, ain't nobody, ain't, ain't nobody taking. Watch, day off. no damn. Fight. Watch Final Fantasy remake part one of eighteen. No, they're not. Call of Duty Modern Warfare two, where everyone stayed home. <laughs> like, yeah, and Call of Duty Modern that? Warfare 2 Everyone had, stayed home had the college Warfare campus 2. looking like a, like a ghost town <laughs> when Literally. I was in college. It was a ghost town, dude. There was nobody out on the streets. Oh, man. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 was the, like, literally everything shut down for that game, but that yeah, was back Abaddon then. Abaddon over here. Abaddon capping hard right now. Hey, hey, listen, hey, listen. Hey, man. He's, he's excited. Listen, geez, Look, you know I what? He's excited, but he, damn. Come first, on. Of all, oh, well, first of all, first of all, first of all. <laughs> no one said nothing to you when you was standing dumb hard for Astro Chain. Well, there's a difference. And look what happened, though. Look, so look what, what happened. happened. So, we're, we're, we're going to play, play result. We're going to talk sales. Yo, let's talk sales. Yeah, we can. Yeah, we can. Let's That's talk sales. That's the whole reason for me shirt. capping for Astro Chain. I told people this game was going to sell. I told people this was going to be one of the greatest games Watch. of the year. And guess what happened? What? Both of them happened. So what you want to say about it? <laughs> then I'm going to say Final Fantasy VII Remake is going to be the best remake of 2020. No, oh, it's, it's not because Xenoblade coming out. Xenoblade. I don't care. So it's not. Yo, Xenoblade's it got is. four times more hours. 
At least. <laughs> Wait, minimum. How, the main how, how can Final Fantasy VII be the best remake of 2020 when it's not the complete game? I just don't understand Why? how it's even. Why? Is, is, so, Why? So when episode two, what, is episode two better than episode one? Is episode three better episode than episode three, one? Or is the whole experience like, ah. better than ev than, better than Xenoblade? Which which part is going to be better than Xenoblade? That's what I want to know. Which which episode is better? Or all of them together? Or just individual? Which one? Because it's definitely not Because individual. I'm saying all of them together. All, oh, all, so we got to wait for it's all together before it's a better experience than and Xenoblade. And spend <laughs> over $180 for the regular game. Nine counted deluxe editions that are $300. Oh, you know what makes it so bad? You know what makes it so bad? This game is on like 13 damn discs. For no damn reason. <laughs> 13 damn this like what what are we doing like come y'all ever remember those telltale games where like episode three was better than episode two and you're like or episode one was better Ooh. than episode four and you're like why the hell is episode one better than episode four <laughs> why is episode five not as good as episode two like that, that's the problem that i have that's one of my main issues with these episodic games man uh yeah i mean i, I don't i don't know how a game that that is episodic and somehow the remake can be somehow better than a game that's completed but you know what hey it, it is what it is um, uh, is that, I don't have to take a breather. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you're, you're capping hard for that game. Oh man, he looked, hey man. He's man. excited, but He's damn, excited. bro. <laughs> yeah, I was like, okay, you going a little bit too far now. We got to break you back. more excited than I was for the spicy nuggets at Wendy's. <laughs> How are those spicy nuggets at Wendy's? I haven't tried them yet. They good? They are pretty good, but they're not as good as they used uh, to be. Mm. But they are pretty okay. good. Okay, I'm back. All right, you back. Um, so yeah, so basically, okay. Once they once they actually release Final Fantasy VII Complete Edition, then I'll then I'll I might I might say that yeah, it's better than Xenoblade. Once they release the the full actual complete game, and we get that like Final Fantasy VII Remake Royal Edition. You know, I mean, we um, gotta wait like three years for that. Though. When, when is that? When is that gonna be? Twenty twenty four. Get that game. Ep episode episode uh, episode Tifa episode Aries episode <laughs> Red Thirteen episode Barrett episode. Where you play as you play as Barrett in a in a third person shooter like freaking Prompto, oh man! All right, so I want to I want to bring something up before you know. I know you're probably going to be almost done. This yeah, we we're wrapping yeah, it like up. Tennis, uh, so I want to bring this up because I think we need to go ahead and be proactive and take a little bit of action. Okay, man. I'm all about getting karma back. That's what I'm about. That's my motto. <laughs> And I still cannot stand the highway robbery that happened to Bayonetta 2 in 2014. That shit still boils my skin. I'm, it still boils my blood I that that, that happened to Bayonetta That's 2. how I feel about Octopath last year. <laughs> so, Octopath got, got robbed. Like, yo, you know what? So, robbed, so what's going to happen is that Jeff Keighley announced the day of the Game Award. And I already started it because a lot of people are already going over it. I went over there and I tweeted about Astral Chain. Good. I want everybody to go flood Jeff Keighley with Astral Chain, game of the year hashtag. Everyone. We're not going to let, nah. let this shit well, happen. I, I think we should do two. I think there should be two. Fire Emblem and Astral Chain. Say, yo, Keighley, don't I, forget I, about I, Fire Emblem and Astral Chain. I, I, I say this because, because somebody, if, if some, if, when you go to the thread on, 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 on G, Jeff Keighley's uh, Twitter, somebody brought up... Um, uh, Smash Brothers Ultimate. It was like Smash Brothers Ultimate needs to be contender for Game of the Year. He said it's in the it's in the running. Like they're mentioned, they're they're thinking about it's in the running for them to select the nominees. Basically, it's sold too much basically. to not even be considered. You know what I mean? Opinion. So I'm like, I'm like, you yeah. know what? You know what? We're not gonna have this bullshit this year. We're not. So y'all need to go over there and let him know what game needs to be Game of the Year. I, I don't. I, I understand some of y'all like Fire Emblem, but I believe Platinum Games needs to win this award. I think they deserve this award. It's. I really want Fire Emblem to have the have the same recognition, but I believe that Highway Robbery that happened in 2014, the Bayonetta 2 that lost the damn Dragon Age Inquisition, has to be corrected. Yo, I mean, Baron, I you think should you crash the Game Awards. You should go on the stage, run up, I don't, I don't, and just speak for them. I don't, I don't think I want to. Yeah. But he, you kind of already did the old game award. <laughs> he did crash the that, old game that's award. That's the thing. I don't want to. I don't want to have to make another video. You know what I mean? I was like, I don't want to have to make another video, and, and they end up. I end up crashing the awards again. But I, when I saw that, I was like, you know what? I'm, I'm gonna let him know because it, it's one. It's one of the best games this year, if not the best game. And Fire Emblem is right next to it. 
You know what I mean? I'll, I give Astro Tate the slight edge because simply is a new IP. And, and Fire Emblem is the more solid game overall. Like it's got more content. But, you know, it's it's the more game. It's like the game, but it's it's not. You, you're right about content, game. maybe, but. Uh... Something more solid game. More solid game. No. I'm having more solid game. Uh, uh, chain personally. It's, 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 it's a hard. It's a hard debate. It's, it it's mechanics are more solid. The mechanics in terms of what it does within its genre are more solid than Astral Chain. Than Astral. Like Astral the, that. the camera and Astral Chain is just <laughs> the camera. Sometimes. Well, I mean, do we need to talk? Do we need to talk about them stiff backgrounds and Fire Emblem? But they don't. Oh. But they're irrelevant though. The they are I, at least it was better in Pokemon Sword and Shield. That's all that matters. No, no, you are no, forever game. hating on Sword and Shield. What did Sword and Shield do to you? Did Sword and Shield, Sword and Shield it, it did like a lot to me. It hurt me. Sword and Shield is an embarrassment, but we're not going to get into exactly. that. But <laughs> we're not. We're going to leave that alone. We're going to leave that alone. Sword but, and Shield stole yeah. y'all lunch money. We all scared. Yeah, but that y'all need to go ahead and you know get that train moving. I, I'm pretty the sure it's already chain train. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's already being considered. As for game of the year, but if it's not even a nominee, I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna, yo, no, if it's not I, I even a nominee, think, I'm gonna be tweeting no, at Jeff two days straight just complaining. But no, here, here's the thing: I, I know that, we, we, I know the panel of the people that's listed that that comes up with it. So I'm pretty sure it will be nominated. But for it to win, it has to get a little bit. It, the buzz has to continue for a while. I mean, the buzz is high now, but we have to continue it for a while. Is for, there a chance of possibly DLC coming to National Chain? Do you think, Baron? No, they said no, no DLC. No DLC. They no, said right? they're gonna, yeah, they gonna make that's a why, That's why I remember them here Plat saying. Platinum Games rarely ever does DLC. They're not big on DLC. So. And that's the and thing. That's good, usually DLC helps the longevity of a game. So I don't know. Maybe having DLC could have helped if they did go for it. But I think the only way they would have is if it's like a mission or something. like Not like microtransaction DLC. No, I think I think the, the, the novelty of this game is going to continue to carry it because this game exploded because of word of mouth, really. And the reason why it's still so high on this on the sale charts is because people felt falling in love with all the crazy shit that you can do. So it's um but I, I definitely want that wrong corrected because that was just highway robbery, dog. That, that's yeah, but Kiwi robbery. doesn't really have a, a relationship with the platinum games developers. So that's why I think that it's gonna be tough. Uh, I'm just there for like I'm there for the memes and I'm there for the, the 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 fun and the new announcements. I don't really take the that that game awards. I don't take them serious. I don't take it seriously because yeah, today it's, it's, no, I, don't, I don't take it. I don't take it too seriously. But I, I just like I want. I think because that's that's the award show that has the most viewers. Yeah, I, it's not it's not the most important, but it has the most viewers, and I think. Platinum needs to have that spot. I just, but I can't take. Both. I can't take it seriously. Like after Octopath gets Octopath and Xenoblade gets, for for soundtracks, just get. I, I can't take. Well, that Xenoblade, Xenoblade could have been yeah. nominated because it was too too late. But they could they could have still nominated for like a, a different the, category. The, the so it was yeah, the, the rest of the next year. So I can't. I, and Octopath, yeah. the fact that Octopath wasn't didn't win. Like, come on, like. They, like, they get like Red Dead Redemption winning game like soundtrack of the. It's like come that, on, that, man. that made me that made me really like, cowboy was, music. Like cowboy music is like come no, on, man. That, that like, pissed me off so much, OJ. I mean, the it, soundtrack's it, it not deserve. bad, but it's like it's just like no, these people. Bad. These people go to not, the club not, and not these, these people go to the bad. club and dance like do the robot in like the in the dance club. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> they got no rhythm. They've got no style. They've got and they're sitting here trying to talk about what the soundtrack of the years. They're listening. To, they're bumping Red Dead Redemption and crap. I mean, like I'm good with it with this BS, you know. So anyway, so yeah, Yo, that's, uh, that's I think I think it's I think it's really messed up that they're doing it for smash but they didn't do it for xenoblade the year before so well that that's how they are it's not gonna change i ain't listening to red oh, dead sound but red what dead i was gonna mention is trash i don't I care what I, i'm just gonna red dead soundtrack is trash you guys can hate me i don't give a oh, damn that soundtrack is absolute trash and half the time oh it's freaking God. nothing it's it's ambient sounds and birds and stuff from it, it doesn't got that's a soundtrack really what do you guys uh, what feels like red dead soundtrack is great no it's not Damn cowboy bang bang shooting cowboy sound. It's not that great. No, it's not. I'm not, I'm not gonna say it's trash, but it's, it's definitely trash. not. I don't like I'm it. Say it's, not the same yeah, level it's, it's average. It's, not, it's average. Yeah. yeah, it's average. I'll give you that. It's average. So, 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 average. So wait, I'll I'll average. I gotta ask this though. I gotta ask this though because we we sitting up here. Um, I feel like the strength of winning this year for Switch is just as strength. It's just it's just as strong as 2017 with Breath of the Wild. And uh, I'll give you that. 
I think it's just strong. Because I, I don't. It's not as strong. I, I feel like it's just as strong. Breath of the Wild had a 97. Breath of the Wild had a 97. There's no game that has a 97 from a Switch I, game. I understand that. I understand that. We're talking about eight, quantity eight. of quality games. I'm, talk, I'm talking about more quantity as far as the quality, uh, quality of the games here. It's like I don't see any other game reviewing higher than uh Astro Chain and Fire Emblem. I don't as far as, as games coming out later after this, I don't see none of them doing. I don't. What you got? Modern Warfare, Outer Worlds, and Doom Eternal. Borderlands we 3. Know, we know Borderlands <laughs> it, 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 revo- it, re- it reviewed lower. So that got that I told y'all that was going to be the case in that, but nobody wouldn't listen to me to that either. So um I don't see another game reviewing higher than these two games for the rest of the year. So I, I feel like this is this is the year. And we need a, a franchise besides Mario, Metroid, and Zelda to win game of the year for them. Definitely need that to happen. I think one Fire- thing I do want to mention, uh we were talking about awards. Uh Super Smash Bros. just recently, like literally for the game show, Tokyo Game Show, won the game of the year award. So Yeah. Yeah. I at least that. some some outlets are giving them the credit they deserve. At least. Yeah. Because uh, personally I don't even expect that to be mentioned as a nominee. Like, I'm surprised that you even heard anything about it, Baron. <laughs> like, it should be in that nominee, but I don't, for who? I don't for which one? What you talking about? Ultimate Smash Ultimate. No, Ultimate is in the running for this. Yeah, year. yeah, I'm shocked. That, that that's all I'm saying. I'm shocked because it's a December yeah, game. So yeah, he, that's what I'm saying. I'm shocked he did that because they didn't do it for Xenoblade the year before. So that's yeah. why Smash shocked. Ultimate rated a 93 though, compared to Xenoblade's 80, like one or 82 at the time. So yeah, so. Uh, uh, yeah, well, so, that's because I mean, people reviewed it when when the handheld mode was supposedly not that good, like stuff like that, like all things that they've improved by now. Yeah, but like also. But like, here, here, here's the, here's the thing though. Here's the thing. I think they did that because remember they they screwed uh, Smash Brothers, the last Smash Brothers game. Smash because Smash it, 4, it, yeah. it it came out after Bayonetta did in December, and that never got nominated. Oh, that one, that year Sma- or the year before. Smash Wii U came out in November. Of, no, of, th- of twenty fourteen. Yeah, and it didn't it didn't get nominated. It, no, it got it, it, it got nominated. It, did, it, did. it got nominated, but it didn't win Game of the Year. But it got nominated for other stuff. It won other stuff like Fighting Game of the Year and stuff like that. For so, that Game Awards, that was 2014. That was a long time ago. That was like five years ago. Yeah, though, you know, so, that was a while ago. Yeah, so. it was a while ago. So, but yeah, it did win some other awards. But it, 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 I mean, even though it was the best rated game, that was the best rated game of the year that year. In yeah, 2014, it was. It, it didn't win Game of the Year. That Dragon and Bayonetta was. was yeah. yeah, I was like, wow. Like, Bayonetta was a ninety. Bayonetta was Bayonetta should have been a ninety-one or ninety-two. No, but there was so no, Bayonetta, Bayonetta was a Bayonetta was a ninety-two at that point. A ninety-one, excuse me. And Smash was a ninety-two. Ninety-two. Ninety-two for Smash. Yeah. So those, those were the two highest rated games. Bayonetta should have been yeah. higher. Some stupid some stupid reviewer gave yeah. it because they didn't like the sexuality. They gave it like a six out of ten or something like that. So they got mad. Yeah. Not because the game was they said, Oh, the game's great, but the sexuality I don't like. I'm like, oh, you gotta be kidding me. Who who is getting mad because Bayonetta's sexual? Oh my gosh, this is stupid. But anyway. We're yeah. going to go ahead and wrap it up here, guys. It's been two hours, so big, long podcast for you guys. We're going to go ahead and get you some outros uh, so we can get these guys out of here. Did you Did you read that super chat? Oh, no, there was a super, super chat. chat. Oh, yeah. yeah Kudo 10 gets you with, with the $2 and says, are you guys forgetting Death Stranding? Uh, yes, I yeah. think we're forgetting Death yeah, Stranding. Yeah, we, we're forgetting it on purpose. Yeah, like, I think what we're forgetting Death about? Stranding. Um, yeah. If that game gets not, like I said, I don't take the game award <laughs> seriously. But if that game actually wins Game of the Year or even gets nominated for Game of the Year, if that game gets nominated, oh, I'm going, going off. Be nominated. I'm going <laughs> off. If it I'm gets already. I, I, I'm definitely gonna make a rant video if that game even get. I mean, we need to see the reviews. We need to see the reviews. But I mean, I, I'd be very, very curious to see if Death Stranding even gets a nomination for Game of the Year. I don't. I don't think, based on what we've seen so far, I don't think it is. From my years of playing video games, um, I can see. It's not even game, close. I can see a, when a game is good. Close. And usually games that I say they're good, you know, I can say that, yo, this is going to be pretty solid based off of looking at the game. But, like, I'm not saying, like, I notice how I never said anything like, Damon X Machina is going to be game of the year. You know, we're not, none of us are saying that <laughs> because we know by looking at it, because we've been playing games long enough to where we know by looking, like, okay, it might be a good game, but it's not going to be that quality. But looking at De- looking at Death Stranding, I can see that that's not a game of the year quality game, in my no, opinion. it's not. But it's not. then again... I didn't think I didn't think Dragon Age Inquisition is, Inquisition is a game of the year quality game. <laughs> so what do I know at times, huh? <laughs> I want to say this last thing though. People keep bringing up uh, Sekiro, Sekio, uh, whatever. Sekiro, Sekiro, Sekiro. That can win. Um, I want I want to bring up um, that um, I put that game on the same level as Astro Chain. I don't put it ahead of it. 
simply because reviewers as of after, as, as of reviewing Astro Chain has said that it's the best action game of the year and one of the best action games of the generation. So if it's if they're saying that in September, that means they have that game ahead a second. So also bringing in a situation with Resident Evil, no remake has ever won game of the year. So I don't think it's ever going to change. And I don't think it's fair either for that to happen. So Yeah, the, I was talking that. about that earlier. I, I don't think remakes should be allowed personally because then like you have to start, okay, what if a game re-releases with better graphics? Is that a remake? Does that game get it? Like what's the threshold? What's the what's the, the yeah. minimum type of things? Otherwise you can just keep on remaking the same thing and they can win game of the year each time. Like, no, that doesn't I don't think that's Yeah, that doesn't make any sense. Yeah. No new games can ever win if we keep doing it that way. Yeah, so Yeah, so I, I don't that's I don't think, I was Yeah, I don't think remakes should be I think there should be a separate category, like remake. Or I like, think people are missing right, out on uh Mario. Remake, remake of the year? That might end up being a category. Remake of the year, or like re-release of the year, or like you know reimagining of the year, or whatever the case is, you know. Yeah. So, so yeah, like whatever. Like Star Fox Zero, yeah, that wasn't gonna win Game of the Year. Like that shouldn't win Game of the Year. It's a freak. It's another version of Star Fox sixty four, you know. <laughs> which which was a version of the original Star Fox anyway. Yeah. yeah so exactly. <laughs> Oh, God. Like they really repeated the game don't, like so many don't, times. Don't like, make me... I wish I can work for for the like, people who made Star Fox because I can make a good story. <laughs> don't make <laughs> me on. don't make me cry. I like Star Fox, but um, uh, but all right, that wraps it up for this one here, guys. We're gonna go and do some outros. Baron, where can they find you at, my man? Uh oh, snap! You caught me off guard by me going first. Man. All right, BC, I... where can they find you at, my man? <laughs> you can find me on Instagram, Twitter at VCIPZ, VCIPS, VC. Uh, I do music, I do video content, game reviews, uh, music, song, album reviews. Uh, I just did a Kirby Clash review. Uh, it's doing really well. Uh, the game's garbage, so definitely don't play the game, but definitely read the review. <laughs> definitely watch it, please. Great review. A lot of people are enjoying it. Watch my video, don't the game. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's a, it's a little of a spoiler, but you definitely said it's watch it. garbage, bro. Yeah. It's crazy. All right. Uh, Avadon, where can they find you at, my man? Y'all can find me on Twitter. You can find me on Instagram, YouTube, at Avidon Smith. Also, for the second channel, we renamed that. We're kind of actually rebranding that channel. Instead of ASVG Beast, we're calling that Musically Avidon. It's going to be a lot more music related content on there. Uh, to give you guys a sneak peek, that you guys are awesome, I'm going to have a gaming and music podcast on there shortly. Pre recorded, not live, because there's a lot more things I could do with that. And. You guys will see in the coming weeks what's going to come from that channel. So if you are not subscribed to that channel, here's your chance. I have remixes on there. I'm actually working on finishing up a remix tonight to have up for you guys tomorrow. So, yeah, make sure you go subscribe to the second channel. And thanks for hanging with, hanging with us, man. All right. Shout outs. And um, Baron, where can they find you at, my man? All right, y'all can find me at my little pagey page. You know what I mean? The Emperor Baron Black. I put the link in the chat right now. Y'all go watch my Astro Chain review. Pretty great, damn good. Great review. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to do more reviews if this review does good. Because that's... A, I hate doing a lot of work like that. I really Reviews are... <laughs> reviews are too... Actually, reviews are too much work. <laughs> they, they, they are a lot of work. I, I'm gonna be I, I think real it depends on the game. It depends on the game. <laughs> just, if the game's a long game... It, just reviews yeah. in general. That's why I, that's why I said, like, I respect the hell out of Dreamcast guy. I mean, like, how does this guy... I don't understand how he does I can't. I can't do what he does. So. Yeah, so, you know, uh, my reviews are a little bit of different style. Don't have to worry about spoilers. No, you don't have to worry about that. Uh, I, I make sure I don't show anything that the publisher or Nintendo hasn't already shown you, so... Yeah. Um, but it's really good, so go watch that. Um uh, also on my channel, of course, is my Death Stranding rant from earlier today, so you can watch that. And of course, if you want to see ultimate entertainment when you're at work, just follow me on Twitter. Trust me, it will not fail you. <laughs> it will be very entertaining to follow me on Twitter because it's, it's just it's just so much salt. It's so much salt on my timeline. Like you can season your fries with it. That's how much salt. On my <laughs> the time. salt. The salt is good. <laughs> the salt is very good. All right, guys. Well, um, you guys, like I said, uh, I'll have a video tomorrow morning for you guys. Um, it's going to be on uh, Switch sales and stuff like that. Some other stuff that I kind of even covered. Little little things here and there. Some nuggets of information. Uh, talking about that. Uh, and uh, yeah, that'll be up tomorrow morning. And then we're gonna have a stream tomorrow as well oj live stream and we might have a dj stream if we hit um elite ninja goal if not i'll see you guys you know for the next streams but yeah uh so yeah we should be playing also some splatoon tomorrow maybe as well maybe late night streams so 
yeah, good stuff. Tomorrow morning, 6 a.m., uh, 9 a.m. Eastern time for my video tomorrow morning. So check it out. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching. See you guys for the next one. Bye-bye. Peace. Peace. See ya.